Yo. Yeah, that, that's good. I can smell that. Yeah, that's real. Sounds good. Yeah. Damn, bro, could you tuck my hoodie in, bro? Yeah. To where it is. It's like in, so when the wind blow, it won't flat. That shit. Got me out here looking ancient, bro, priest. Huh? All right, hey, Shalom, Shalom. Back out here once again. Do the spirit and power, Yahweh, by Shemel Shai to prophesy the downfall of Babylon the Great and to push this message of the true gospel throughout the airwaves of the World Wide Web that it may hit the ears of the elect and that they may be sealed in their spirit to receive this knowledge as well as salvation from the coming dangers, all right? But before we get started, as always, we want to give all praise to our power. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Kakwadash. And double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutation and blessings to the hopeful elect scattered throughout the four winds of the earth that believe wholeheartedly in the true doctrine, all right, that's being pushed throughout the four winds of the earth, all right? <clears throat> now, one of the major things that's been going on prophecy-wise is the talks of this World War III, all right? That's ramping up. You see Russia is, is, is threatening with nuclear uh, nuclear arms. They got, they got ships down there uh, in Cuba. They're surrounding the east and the west. They got their uh, nuclear submarines on the east coast as well as the west coast. <clears throat> you got all these truthers telling you that these things are coming. But guess what? The World War III won't happen until the mandatory implementation of the MOTB, right. which is the mark of the beast. <clears throat> and that's gonna come very soon, all right? We're, we're on the brink of a uh, a major so-called T-E-R-R-O-R attack, all right? That's gonna take place in, in on the soils of America. And it's gonna make 9-11 look like a walk in the park, uh -huh. all right? And all these things are going to hit at once. All right? Everything is going to hit this place at once. You had, uh, you had, uh, uh, what was that? You had these different, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the Federal Reserve was hacked. Yeah, by Russia. All right? They say it was Russia. <clears throat> yeah. You had these hot, uh, Kaiser, Kaiser Permanente was hacked. Yeah. You had these car dealerships. Everything is being hacked. America's vulnerable now. All right? And just everything that's happening is is uh happening like it like it did in that movie uh Leave the World Behind. Yeah. All right? I got something. And they call that uh uh revealing the method or revelation of the method, man. That's how they tell you what they doing. But majority of our people are so goofy and stupid talking about these people on the side they not paying attention all right <clears throat> they more into the Kendrick Lamar and Drake beef okay but well, go ahead it's a uh, Matthew chapter 5 verse 17 it says think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets uh-huh I am not come to destroy but to fulfill right but fairly I say unto you till heaven and earth to you till heaven and earth pass one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law to all be fulfilled right meaning everything that's written in this book is going to be fulfilled all right everything <clears throat> and we're on the brink of jacob's trouble spilling over all right we are on the brink of that happening whether you want to believe it or not all right <clears throat> all right bro matter of yeah. fact Got some. Yeah, go ahead. Get Jeremiah uh, 50 and 8. Cool. Remove out of the midst 
of Babylon and go forth out of the land of the Chaldeans. Right, okay. which basically, we can't, where are we gonna go? This this is basically telling us, remove your, your, your mind state, yeah. all right? Remove your mind state from this world's uh, uh, way of life, all right? Because it's gonna get you jacked up out here, man, right? Michael 2 and 10. Get that real quick before you finish that. <clears throat> and you see, you can see our people now how, how destroyed they are, man. Yeah, they finished, man. You know? It's no hope for two thirds, man. That's why we only concerned with the elect of the nation of Israel. Mm -hmm. yep. Go ahead, read that. This is uh, Micah chapter 2, verse 10. Uh huh. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Right. Meaning the ways of America is not the rest that the Heavenly Father established for us. This was this was actually punishment. All right? Jake forgot the way they came over here. I was just thinking that. You know, you forgot the way you came over here, man. You for you Latinos and, and native tribes, you forgot what happened when the conquistador got over here. You forgot all those things. You forgot all the children that they that they slaughtered. And then buried behind these uh, boarding schools yeah. that are now being uh, uplifted. Yeah. Okay, the four or five freeway. Yeah. They was uh, doing construction on the four or five freeway and dug up a mass grave of natives, man. Right. Which is the Ronald? Ain't that the? That's the Ronald Reagan, that's freeway? The Ronald Reagan freeway. Yeah. yeah. Yep. They, it named after the one of the presidents of the United States. Yeah. I used to take that freeway to go to the UCLA Ronald Reagan. Uh, hospital. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, it says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. And that's, look at our people, man. You can, you can look at the greatest of our people. Example, Michael Jackson. How great he was. And you mean, you can't tell me he wasn't destroyed before he left the planet. His spirit left. He was so destroyed, he 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 bleached his skin and looked like a white boy. Messed his nose up. Totally destroyed, man. All right. Look at look at the state of our women. Ho is life. You know? Yeah, she's 60 talking about she ready to settle down. Yeah. 60-year-old woman. Thinking she's gonna find her uh, 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 somebody to spend the rest of her life with, man. Yeah, Prince Charming. Totally delusional, man. Yeah. Destroyed. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> After she done been ran through. Yeah. And 50 said it best. He said, when I think about Vivica, oh, it was nothing. Easy work. Yeah. <laughs> so we destroyed as a people. This is why we come out here to the highways and hedges to bid you to the merits of your house side, man. This is your only way. Right. right. Mm -hmm. This is the only way out of this out of this madness, man. Right. That's it. That's right. That's it. Yeah, go ahead, bro. This is Micah 4 and 10. Being paid in labor to bring forth, O daughter of Zion, like a woman in travail. For now shalt thou go forth out of the city, and thou shalt dwell in the field. And thou shalt go even to Babylon. Yeah. There shalt thou go, Salakia. There shalt thou be delivered. There the Lord shall redeem thee from the hand of thine enemies. That's right. That's right. And this is where the deliverance is going to come. That's right. All right? The major deliverance. All right? Because this is where the major destruction is going to come. The Lord going to make an example out of right. America. Right, right. Yeah, right. I, I was uh, thinking this week that the Lord is going to glorify himself like he did during the time of Egypt because the nations really didn't fear the Heavenly Father during that time of, of Pharaoh. That's why he would say, who is this God? You know? Yeah. Not until the Heavenly Father start to plague him and destroy him. Then they knew after that point, all nations knew that uh, who the Heavenly Father was. And at that time, the land of Egypt was the... Um, that was the prominent empire uh, in that known world. Well, it just nothing new today. America is the same 
in the same steed as the as Pharaoh and the Egyptians. And the Lord gonna make his name known after he destroyed America, which no other nation really uh could do. You know? Yeah, they're worse. That's why they're gonna get it the worst. Okay. You know? that, that's why this is spiritual Egypt. Yeah. Right. Okay? Because in Egypt they were worshiping pagan gods. They were worshiping gods that weren't gods. Yeah. Don't you know in Egypt they had technology too? <clears throat> that yeah. they learned from Abraham? Mm -hmm. Because Abraham knew about the uh, the elements. Yeah, he did. Yeah. All right? That's he that's taught Abimelech. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's found in the uh you can find that in the Josephus. Yeah. Yeah. But uh going back, Jeremiah 50 and 8. Remove out of the midst of Babylon and go forth out of the land of the Chaldeans and be as the goat, be as the he goats before the flocks. For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country. And that's what's happening. I mentioned how Russia has their ships down in Cuba. Mm -hmm. All right. How they got their submarines on the east and the west coast surrounding this place. All right. And they shall set themselves in array against her. From thence she shall be taken. That's right. And it's just a matter of time. And that time is ticking real fast, man. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. If you can't feel in your in your in your spirit that something is getting ready to happen, then you just totally tapped out. Mm -hmm. You don't know. You don't know what the hell uh, time you're living in, man. Sure it ain't yeah, you you completely distracted by every um, distraction he saw through out there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the debate. yeah, like that crazy ass debate, man. Yeah, that was all. It just staged, man. It's that was a, that was the that was the most staged bullshit I've ever seen in my life. How is right. he even up there? Like you said, he got all these felonies. Yeah, know? right. And then you, he got all these felonies, and his his son is a damn criminal. Yeah, uh, Biden's right. son is a criminal. Yeah, that whole he a fucking criminal too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all of. Bigger, he a bigger criminal than his damn son, But man. that motherfucker, he's senile. He don't even know what the fuck going on, man. Or he's playing the role. Yeah, he's playing the role. Whichever one. And you people of America just eat it up. That's why you're, that's why you're, you're the laughing stock of the world. Yeah. Going back. Hey, what's that Roman uh, quote? Give them bread and circus. Oh, yeah, yeah. And they will never revolt. All right? Everybody talking about LeBron and his son. Going to the lake. Who gives a fuck, man? For real. Everybody got something, but ain't nobody talking about what we talking about, man. Nobody talking about it. See, you people are distracted, man. And by the time you realize uh, uh, that they out for your mother effing soul, it's going to be too late. <laughs> he going to have it already. He snatched it. Yeah. Right. They knew not until the floor came. Right. That's the only reason. That's the only time Jake is gonna know is when the flood hits you. Yeah, when it's at your door. Right. Yep. Yeah, it talks about how they can de discern the weather. Yeah. But they can't discern the time that we're in. Yep. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes, Matthew. Yep. Yeah. Is uh Jeremiah 50 and 9. For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country, and they shall set themselves in array against her. From thence she shall be taken. Their arrows shall be as of a mighty expert man. None shall return in vain. Those arrows is talking about the ICBM missiles. Okay? You want to know what the hell, uh, uh, what hellfire is, what the lake of fire is? It's talking about the nuclear war that's going to take place. Right. You know? Mm -hmm. you, 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 you got our people still think that it's, it's, it's time here, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You got our people talking about 10 years from now, uh, uh, 15, 20 years from now. Are you are you insane? How how in the hell can this wickedness last for another 10 years, you, five years? You'd be lucky to have 10 months. Yeah, man. And then when you, if you, okay, you saying 10 years from now, have you been checking up on what the powers that be, what they say they want to establish in 10 years? Yeah, you'll be a guy. Matter of fact, you'll be killed. And then be born, as soon as you're born, they put in all type of uh, 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 nanoparticulates in your ass so they can control you. Yeah. If it was 10 years from now. Right, right. They, all right, because we'll be well into 2030. 
They even um, I seen Daniela been posting them um, dealing with this AI is getting so like you know the the, the the ideology of it's getting so goddamn crazy that they want to now instead of you doing a life sentence sentence yeah. they what is they could they inject you they can inject you with something I forget what was it like basically like some black mirror shit yeah, yeah they right, want to yeah. inject they, you with some shit that make you feel like you went through yeah years. whatever yeah years of prison. Yeah, basically they putting you into a like a coma state. You know what I'm saying? And and, and they trying to play God. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like putting you in a uh putting you in a uh like a sleep state to where it feel like you there forever type yeah. shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you only there, you only been there a couple for, shit, maybe a maybe minute. a year or two. Yeah, a year or something. <laughs> Which is and that they also that and they also uh wanna they got the technology where they wanted to future prisons where they can um wipe away your memory yeah, my, yeah. you know what i'm saying well that's the same thing with that yeah i think it they all reprogram tied. your mind yeah to do good to uh you know what i'm saying be basically a, a good citizen and it and it comes and it comes with getting a chip put inside your brain yeah yeah which is the motb yeah all right that'll be a if, if this man was able to to bring forth this new world order, his enterprise, which he's not, that'll be the requirements of everybody besides his punk ass. Yeah. All right? That'll be the requirement when you get born back in the earth that he automatically chipping your ass. Yeah. Yeah. Automatically. I always make make mention of the movie uh, Demolition Man. Bro, yeah, that was nice about to say that, bro. And uh, 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 I was Wesley Snipes and uh, uh, Sylvester Stallone. Yeah. If you ain't seen that movie, you need to watch it, man. Because yeah. that's that's the society he wants to produce. Yeah. Yeah, and and the Running Man. I don't know if y'all seen yep. Running, Running Man. Running Man with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. 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 Where the elite, they just that's just that's your modern day uh, Mockingbird, man. The Mockingjay. What's the name of that movie? Oh, uh, Hunger Games. Hunger Hunger Games. Games. That's your modern day Hunger Games. Running Man was the was the the first Hunger Games, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that was. You know, because they they put the poor in these uh, dire situations and they have to survive. Well, and that entertained the elite. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. That's what the purge is all about, man. Bro, why? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to say that too. Shit is real, man. We, we, we the spirit have a saying. This shit is real. You know what I mean? And then we can tell you, um, we go into the scriptures and, and prove it. Hey, bro, it's going on as we speak. Mm -hmm. Those games are going on in yep. certain places around the world. The elites is doing that shit, and they got them. They got them games set up, man. Yeah. You think that shit ain't going on? Yeah. They got little kids. They got games for little children too, man. Yeah. Don't get it twisted. Just think, just, just put, try to put yourself in in Esau's mind. You know what I'm saying? Which is, <laughs> well, all you do is got to watch his movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just watch his movies. He put, he he put his it right in his movies. Man. You had, you had this Jake following the budget truck this past week, and it was had, it was like a little crack, and you could see the, you could see the, uh, the, uh, uh, the people in there, which were all Israelites. They were all shackled up and, and uh, uh, tied up, man. And he followed them all the way. He followed them until the police got to him. Mm -hmm. In a regular budget truck, it was filled, filled with Israelites, man. Yeah, man. So that he can traffic. Mm -hmm. So he can traffic and, and, yeah. and, and do Lord knows what with them, man. Yeah. They Remember? just got hit with a big, a big bus in the, in the mm -hmm. IE. Mm -hmm. well, they got caught. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Five human, children. Uh, it was a, I think nah, it was, boys, it was a Jake recording it. It was a Jake recording, and he recorded, and he uh, recorded all the way until the police got there. When they lifted it up, there was nothing but children that day. Yeah. He was like, I knew it. He was like, I knew it. That's why I thought. No, that, that wasn't the IE, was it? No, no, that's, that's, that's the one the I'm IE. talking about. Oh, okay. But the one in the IE, that was in Fontana. Oh, yeah, yeah. I believe it was in Fontana. Mm -hmm. Didn't make no news, man. None. Yeah, no. None, None bro. No. Uh, uh, you, you got these uh, Venezuelans that they let over here. That's we can have it, man. Yeah. They acting they're dressing up as Amazon workers and they busting in people uh houses. We can have it. And Trump is talking about he he finna give the police uh, uh full immunity. 
That's what he said. Meaning that like he gonna fund, he gonna fund them? No, meaning full immunity, they gonna be able to do whatever they gotta do okay. to restore law and order. Right. And they immune from whatever, if they kill somebody, they got immunity uh, to it. Uh, right now in uh, Israel, they, they, their officers has that command to shoot uh, the citizens on site. Oh yeah. You know, they have that on command in Israel right now. That's why that, that interview I rolled by with the mayor, that's what he was saying. He said, look, it ain't our fault. Uh, it's because of the defunding of the police. Yeah. That's what he's saying. That's what Which he saw us using this to, to uh, bring down. Um, um, to bring in laws. Yeah, law. What is it called? Draconian, Draconian measures. Draconian laws. Yep. Right. Well, you know what? That's why that scripture is there. They shall not uh, regard their kings, their authority. Yeah. Basically, their, uh, the, the, the people that's all from. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because they gonna know that 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 is going down. So they're gonna be like, all right, fuck it. Well, shit. We gotta fight. We gotta fight. Yeah. You know? And they gonna start busting on them goddamn uh, motherfuckers, man. And, and, and the one they caught, he had said uh, that they've been uh, moving heavy artillery guns throughout the different uh, uh, so-called sanctuary cities and states where these migrants are. How the fuck are they getting these weapons? Know, Esau, man. man. Y'all better wake the hell up. You're going you gonna to find your goofy ass going to the store one morning, you know, with your little shorts on, you know, with your flip flops, thinking you going to get some bread, you know, so you can feed, so you can feed your uh, your children, and they stuff your ass in the van, never to be heard from. Yeah. And they and they and they and they uh, serial rape your ass. That's what they did to that twelve year old girl, man. All right. Tied her up and serial raped her. Y'all think it's a game? Keep keep thinking it's a game out here, man. Yeah. No air tag is gonna be able to save you, right? Man, they gonna chop your head off, man. <laughs> yeah. Then you exposing that you putting air tags in your wings, fool. <laughs> is that what they chop you? The yeah, they put yeah. it. They they're tying it into their weaves, <clears throat> exposing themselves. Yeah. Well, well <laughs> hey, when the Lord when the Lord put a hit out on you, you ain't you ain't going you ain't gonna be able to run. It don't matter what you do. The Lord gonna have them search that. That, that that spot, that secret spot where everything at. You ain't getting away, man. The Lord gonna send his hitman, man. Mm -hmm. and, he, and he could use anybody. Yeah, right. the, the, the deaf angels are already here, man. Right. Yeah, they, they ready. You got them crazy ass uh, MS-13 motherfuckers out here, man. That don't regard life. They don't give a fuck about life, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't care, bro. Them some, them some crazy ass Israelites, man. Yeah. They, they worship Satan. And then, and then on top of that, you got, you got the other troops that's here. See, they using the, the, the Venezuelans to do the, the bullshit right now. But then they're going to start letting these troops and these and these mercenaries loose out here, man. Yeah, yeah that's right, right. Hey, brother, you brother, hey, you brother, hey, you brother, But, uh, y'all go get that, and I'll it's, go back. It's kind of, like, long. Yours is long? Uh, long. yeah, a couple. Okay. Yeah, yeah, couple just more. go, go, you yeah, This is, uh, Psalms chapter 10, verse uh, 15. It says, break down the arm of the wicked and the evil man seek out his wickedness till thou find none the lord is king forever and ever the heathen are perished out of his land yep it's gonna take the lord to break this man you know yeah i got i got one up uh yeah go ahead it says sirach chapter uh no ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 14. it says there was a little city a few men within it and there came a great king against it and besieged it and built great bulwarks against it now there was found in it a poor wise man and he by wisdom delivered the city yet no man remembered that same poor man then said i wisdom is better than strength neither less the poor man's wisdom is despised and his words are not heard the words of the wise men are heard in quiet more than... Yeah, everybody would rather hear uh, these celebrities that ain't giving you no goddamn truth that means nothing. 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 You know? You had uh, Cat Williams a few months back go on the Club Shay Shay and the whole goddamn uh, Negro community tuned in. You know? And that nigga you wanna, tell, you, you, you wanna hear nothing but bullshit. 
You don't want to hear the poor righteous teachers though. But that's that's to your own detriment. All right? Yeah, he he said he said some dumbass comment like why aren't we in the uh in the Bible? You know what I'm saying? So that nigga don't know nothing, man. He's just a dumb nigga portraying that he's some smart and this dude is a homosexual, clearly, man. Nigga gay shit. You know what I'm saying? Talking about he read so many books that he got a uh, IQ of a uh, hundred and, you know, claiming him to be uh, like some genius, smart dude. Yeah, man, that's, you a dumb nigga, yeah, man. Yeah, that's, that's that Esau standards. That nigga lying. You got a high IQ, but you don't understand this truth. So that means your IQ is low. And out in the eyes of Yahweh by Shimei yeah. Abishai, the wisdom of the world is it's, foolishness. It's foolishness with the Most yeah. High, man. He was lying on that whole shit. That he was lying, lying, bro. Man, ain't nobody. You can't. But if you that smart and you got all this stuff, you wouldn't be in the. You would be even uh, in a better estate if you have smarts like that. He's lying, man. And he was on Joe Rogan, sounding even stupider than he was on the Shay oh, Shay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, even dumb. And then, you know that crazy nigga. Um, <sighs> Uh, Disney Channel nigga, uh, Orlando Brown. Orlando Brown was exposing him. He remembered that nigga when he had no teeth pulling up. Yeah. It's just like, come on, bro. You niggas worship Satan, and you know you will come up with some some fake narrative to give to the world, and the internet eats it up. They eat it up, bro. That's all right. Everybody gonna be held accountable. Right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But this is this is the age of the dumb Americans, the dumb people, man. You people are stupid. Whoever watching this, you ain't a part of. You a stupid nigga or a stupid ass wannabe woman, man. You ain't a, you ain't even a woman. You ain't even a man. You a goddamn uh, uh, a boy and a little girl, man. A Babylonian. American. <laughs> yeah, back in uh, Ecclesiastes 9 and 17, it says the words of a wise man are heard and quiet more than the cry of him that ruleth among fools. Yep. Wisdom is better than weapons of war, but one sinner destroys much good. Man, that's right, man. Yeah, and the, yeah, the, man. We, we speaking, man. The top wisdom on the planet Earth is the true understanding of this Bible. That's right, Even man. Theodore Roosevelt knew that. Yeah. yeah. And the Heavenly Father is just um, revealing it more and more that we speaking the truth. Just day by day as the time move forward, it's coming out more and more that what we're talking about is the truth. Bro, and that goes way back. You know what I'm saying? You had the top nation at the time, which was the uh the Egyptians. Who was they going who was they uh who was they getting their information from? Yeah. The, the uh the prophet uh uh uh, uh Joseph, Joseph, man. Joseph, yeah. Joseph, Moses. You know what I'm saying? So come on, man. You know, yeah. and he got his from the word, man. From the word, so yeah. come on now. The Most High, the Most High revealed the secrets to him. Yeah. Yeah. Daniel in the Babylonian. Uh, yep. Uh, you know, empire. That's yeah. how he became governor. Right. That's Joseph, how the same way that Joseph place became governor. Yeah, that place was it yeah. would have been through. Yeah. It would have been through. Yeah. Egypt would have been done. That empire, that great empire that we built, would have been done if the Lord did not send Joseph. And he said that. He explained it when his brothers, after his father died, and he and he, his brothers thought that he may turn on him. He told him, man, the Lord sent me here to preserve life. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, that's why we here. Yeah. But look, All they right. preserved it by listening to the prophets. Now, when you don't listen to the prophets, that's when your shit go down, man. Yeah. That's when that's when this whole shit go to go to trash. Oh, bro. Let me read it again. Like you just yep. said, all right? Yeah. Back in Ecclesiastes 9 and 14, it says, There was a little city and few men within it. And there came a great king against it and besieged it and built great bulwarks against it. Now there was found in it a poor wise man and by his wisdom delivered the city. Yet no man remembered that same poor wise man. Ooh, like the man. brother just said, man. Yeah. The, the, uh, like both of the brothers are just speaking. The Lord sent us in the city, though. Delivered the city. Yeah, yep, delivered the city. But the city ain't the, the whole inhabited America. The city is... The elect of Israel, that's the city now. Yep. You know? Because you can't have a city without citizens. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah Babylon, what that great city? Babylon, mm -hmm. this place is known as the city. Lord ain't de delivering this city though. He gonna deliver the elect from amongst this city. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. All right. This call is strictly to the elect, man. 
This is uh, Isaiah chapter 10, verse 22. It says, For though thy people Israel be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant of them shall return. The consumption decreed shall overflow with righteousness. That's right. Over, I can't wait for that, man. Overflowing with righteousness, man. You know, who want to be in this defiled ass place, man? Only a nigga, man. Yeah. You know, you a pure nigga, man, if you want to be in this place, man. I don't give a fuck what, for what reason, man. You can't even make an excuse of why you want to be here, man. <clears throat> you, you, what, what, what it should be is, I can't wait for uh, righteousness. I can't wait for the Lord to return so we get the fuck up, fuck up out of here, man. Yeah, man. You right, know, bro. what it, what it's here for us. Claiming to be uh, Israelites, well, they know that they Israelites, but they want to be sovereign here. In, yeah, uh, in Esau's kingdom. You, know? yeah. you got women over men. Yeah. That that's 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 turned upside down. That's that's you could thank your goddamn next door neighbor Esau for that shit. Right. right. You know, wherever he the fuck he at, you could thank this goddamn devil, man. Yeah, you know, he got the women over you and shit. Niggas bowing down, thinking that's the normal. Abortion clinics just. Is every fucking yeah. corner <laughs> when your woman get out of line y'all getting an argument <laughs> you're willing to kill your damn baby you know because she got the lead way from Esau man she ain't got to tell you and she ain't got to tell you you seen a new little thing they got a um where a woman could drop off their baby it looked like a damn piece of oven you could drop off oh, at your the firehouse at the fire the fire yeah. station yep you drop your baby off yeah they've been doing that for yeah, some women, years women and you Silly ass women, y'all doing that shit, man. You can't take care of them. You will drop them off at the foster care. She know? wanna be a thot. Yeah, yeah. With CPS, you know. She wanna live her best life. Not knowing when you put your children uh, in that CPS shit, you you sacrifice them. Yeah, that's exactly hey, what because look what on. look what came up with those two couples in Virginia. They had uh. They, they had them in slavery. They had them. They had them slavering yeah. in a fucking barn, man. Yeah, yeah. The, the Southern tribe, man. Mm -hmm. You know, yep. had them slavering in a fucking barn, man. Yeah. Yep. Edomites yep. adopted Jake. Right. Yeah. Adopt group home Jake, man. And they're yes. the ones that got caught, bro. That's it. Antebellum, that is real. Yeah. Right. Antebellum. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Alice. Yeah. Alice is another one. Yeah. yeah. That's why. That's why uh, Ezekiel nine is written. Yeah. Somebody get that, man. See, we we signing crime right now. You know, when we see these things, and you see when we like the brother just mentioned that uh, them two them Edomite that Edomite couple that adopted some Jake children, they they had them in slavery, man. Yeah, oppression maketh the wise man mad, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah they they and they like it was old times. Yeah. that's on just one, one that that got caught. You know what I'm saying? There's many of them goddamn devil. Don't you know it's still countries? Or not country, still places in the U.S. where you can't, uh, uh, where yeah. Jake can't even go. Yeah. Yeah, you, got, uh, you got, you got, you had this uh, FedEx woman oh, yeah. work for FedEx in in Illinois. I you know what I'm saying? North Carolina is one of uh, certain spots in uh, all North over, all, all, all over, yes, yeah. all, all over, all except here in California. Well, you know, California is the only, well, but, I mean, but. Some you you could go through them, but they ain't finna kill you here in California. But in certain states, you can't even go through it. You ain't gonna make it out of that motherfucker, man. Yeah. So much so the chick that worked for FedEx, her company said, nah, we can't, you can't, you, you can't go this route. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because you still got Edomites that 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 look at you as a straight up slave, man. And that you you were beneath them. Yeah. Here in America, still. Yeah, 2024. <clears throat> oh yeah. And I. But that, but that's, but, but that's all good though, because this, this society is on its way out. All right. <clears throat> the Lord is gonna destroy all of America, man. Right. That's right. That's right. That's right. <clears throat> Let's go back to Jeremiah 50. Yeah. Jeremiah 50 and 10. And Chaldea shall be a spoil in all the. And all that spoil her shall be satisfied, saith the Lord. Uh -huh. Because ye were glad, because ye rejoiced, O ye destroyers of mine heritage. This is the Lord's heritage. These people on the side, on their father's side, all right? And those who, who may not look like these people on the side, but their father goes back to one of these men on, on this side, man. Mm -hmm. 
this is the Lord's heritage, That's and you right. and you rejoice at our destruction. That's right. Matter of fact, give me Revelation the eleventh chapter. Yeah. All right. You rejoice at the destruction of the children of Israel, and then somebody get lamentations, man. Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> This is uh, Revelation chapter 11. Start at 8. Yep, verse 8. It says, And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of that great city. Right, dead bodies meaning of dead state of mind. Not knowing the knowledge of self, of who you are. You everything under the sun except these people. As soon as you call yourself these people, the whole world got a problem with it. Why is that? Because that's who you are. You could be anything under the sun, man. You got you got take thinking they star people, man. Don't nobody don't nobody trip on them. You know you got take in every religion there is under the sun, calling themselves uh, uh, Gentiles and you know uh, all kind of madness. Africans. You know calling yourself Africans or Kemet. All right. But as soon as you say you are the descendants of the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. Oh, there's a problem. Mm -hmm. But matter of fact, uh, uh, Hosea 1 and 10, Baba Kusha. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Soon as you say that you are the, the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel, everybody got a hair up their ass. No, it, 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 it can't be. No. Why not? You know why they got a problem with it? Because it's the truth. It's the truth. Because if it wasn't the truth, they wouldn't have a problem with it. Just like they don't have a problem with you being everything else. Yeah. They got a problem with you proclaiming your true heritage. Yeah. Go ahead, brother. This is Hosea 1 and 10. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea. We can't be numbered. Go ahead. Which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass. That in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people. Now, well, according, to, uh, according to this Bible, the Holy Scriptures, all right, the most published book on the planet Earth. In this entire book, the children of Israel knew who they were. Right. So where was it said that you are not the Lord's people? Right here in Babylon the Great. Yeah. America. Uh, yeah. Correct. Bro. All right. This is where it was said you are not the Lord's people. Right. You a Negro. Going back to the uh the uh uh the forties and the fifties, you were colored. Right. Yeah. Right? A nigger. African American. You were everything under the sun, man. Afro American. African American. Afro -American. Negro. Negroids. Colors. Colors. You was everything. They gave you all these bywords. And you and you're right too, bro, because the, the last chapter of the of the last book is Revelations, which we we knew we was Israelites during the time of the Roman Empire. Exactly. Even though you had Israelites scattered during that time that, that fell away from the customs, but for the most part we knew who we were. Right. When we got over here to the shores of Babylon, <clears throat> all right, prior to the conquistadors coming over here, you had the native tribes which represent the, the, uh, the 10 tribes, the Northern Kingdom, the so-called Latinos, Native Americans, mm -hmm. which are also Israelites. Prior to the conquistadors got over here, they knew that they were Israelites. You can find that in the Apocrypha. Right. Because they came over here so they can keep the laws and statutes that they didn't keep in their own land. But as time went on, they started to drift away from the customs, which allowed Esau Edom to come over here. And he stripped them of the, what, who they were, all right, and put and, and put himself in in the steam, as he's done throughout history. And then the so-called Negro was brought over here during the transatlantic slave trade. <clears throat> the so-called Negro, the West Indian, and the Haitian. Right. All right. What they don't teach you is that the first slaves came from Portugal and Spain. Mm -hmm. They don't teach you that in school. All right, because Negroes rule uh, uh, the, uh, the, the so-called Middle Ages, as they call it, That's right. That's right. the Dark Ages. Those were the, where the first slaves came from uh, during the uh, Renaissance era. 
That's where you. That's why they call the Dark Ages. Yeah. All right. So <clears throat> prior prior to the Renaissance, when when they brought us over here, this is when they stripped us of our true nationality. Yeah. When you watch the movie Roots, <clears throat> they 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 uh uh dramatized. dramatized the scene when they beat Kunta Kinte and took his name from him. Why did they dramatize that, man? The way they did. To show you that they named you. Yeah. Give me that in uh, the curses where the scriptures say, you shall become a, 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 a proverb and a byword. <clears throat> okay? I got it. You got it, I'll go ahead. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 36. The Lord shall bring thee in thy king, which thou, which thou shalt set over thee, unto a nation which neither thou nor thy fathers have known and there shalt thou serve other gods yep. wood and stone right here in america <clears throat> go ahead and thou shalt become an astonishment a proverb and a byword yep. among all nations whether the lord shall lead thee and that's exactly what happened to us that's exactly what happened to us man we became that reproach. We became that astonishment. Yeah. Don't you know they had the black woman in the in a goddamn uh, museum because her booty was so big? Yeah. <clears throat> All right. The so-called black man. And she used to. They would chop his rod off and and, and and hold it for souvenir. Originally, she was in the zoo. Mm -hmm. She was known as a a, a, a animal. Right. <clears throat> it's a reason they 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 uh they called you three fifths of a man. Same thing happened with the, the northern tribe. Same thing. They, it's just they, not as documented. Yeah, they, they uh, built the, the boarding schools, which the boarding schools didn't do nothing but transfer over to the education schools that you have today. It's the same thing as a boarding school going back when they were chopping off the, the, the indigenous people here and taking their name away from them and calling them Tommy. Your name is Tommy. Yep. And they separated you from they separated you from your uh, your parents, your, your parents, yep. and they killed the chiefs of the uh, of the tribes. Yeah, Esau was the original one uh, scalping, <clears throat> and then once he started scalping, because he used to charge back then, he was giving up a hundred dollars for a scalp. Back then, a hundred dollars was like a, a thousand plus. So <clears throat> you get a hundred dollars back then, shit, you would, shit, okay, kill an Indian, fuck it, you know. And then once Dad. Uh, uh, knew start about it. He back. start doing it. He start doing it to them and yeah. taking their guns. It's crazy because when you just hear it, what happened to the Negro-looking tribe, the indigenous tribe, has the same denominator, same same, same oppressor, same denominator, same. the same people. Same enemy. Judah and Ephraim were oppressed together. And yeah. then, and then, if you look around, the oppression that that uh, has built up all the way to today. We being afflicted in the same estates and in the same spots. From the ghettos, our, ne our next door neighbors is northern tribes, the indigenous or negroes. Or you go to prison, we filling those prisons up. And and we're divided and conquered. We don't even know that we're we're of the same people. Just different tribes. And you could blame that all on Esau Edom. Yeah. All right, the so-called white man. He 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 did that purposely. All right? Divide and conquer. Yeah, a, a, a Japanese man could say his his country is uh is Japan. A Chinese man can say his his country is China. A black man, what he gonna say? The hood, Compton, America, you know, right. America, which America is two people, man, or uh, uh I mean uh. It's based uh, after it it's based after yeah, yeah, yeah Spaniard. Spaniard name Amerigo Vespucci. Amerigo Vespucci. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, go back to Jose. Wait. I was in uh, I'm thinking, I was thinking of African, 11, yeah, African, we, African American. Yeah, yeah, wait, yeah, wait. That's Whole Revelation, Hosea 1. I didn't finish one. Jeremiah 2, 14, 7, 7, 14, 17, 14. Back in Hosea 1 and 10, <clears throat> yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered, and it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there it shall be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living power. 
and it's gonna be said it's being said yeah but it's gonna be well known in the minds of everybody all right that these people that we afflicted that we had in the captivity the people who we took this land from all right and set up our own uh, 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 establishment our own laws and things of that nature it's gonna be said that these are the people of the Heavenly Father and now and now the recompense is gonna be on your ass the payback yeah pay back. reap what you sow all right hey, that's revelation uh 13 man you know he that leadeth into captivity shall must go. Go, go into captivity or shall go and in, in, yeah. in uh thessalonians yeah. seeing it is a righteous thing with the most high to, to recompense, recompense to tribulation, tribulation to, to them, them that, that trouble, trouble. Uh, jeremiah 30 16 all them that devour thee shall be, be devoured yep yeah. yeah like we always say it's math too yeah a negative terms a negative is a, is a positive yep yeah. <clears throat> or yeah. two odds always make it even yeah i got it i got it okay you finish that uh i got one more verse right, you go ahead like you hosea 1 and 11 then shall the children of judah and the children of israel be gathered together and appoint themselves one head and they shall come up out of the land for grace shall be the day of jezreel Right, Jezreel is another name for Israel. Seed. All right, seed of the power. Yeah. Yazerah Allah. Yazerah yeah. Allah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And that's us. Are we coming together. All right. <clears throat> you see different, all, all different tribes is, uh, is standing right here. Yeah. You know, this ain't no black thing, man. We don't call ourselves black uh, Hebrew Israelites. Ain't no such thing. Ain't no such thing. Uh, this is wisdom of Solomon 5 to 1 then shall the righteous man <clears throat> stand in great boldness Before the face of such as have afflicted him mm -hmm. and made no account of his labors Yep, and you can't tell me that the labors that the so-called Negro and the native and the Latino Has been made accounted for in this land. You can't tell me that man We served 300 some odd years of free labor free labor that built this country right. okay yeah, the, the railroad system that was all built by israelites yeah. they show you that in the movie life emancipation yeah. too yeah that's what they was doing they was building the railroads man yeah. yeah and the reason they built the railroads is so they can bring the gold so they can take it back to england yeah yeah and it was building it too during the 49 the uh the, the yeah the gold rush when they was yeah, the gold rush. when they was killing off gad saying well if you kill them all you just take that land and put your stamp Staking on it, it. Your, your stake yeah and that's why they, that's that goes back to the scalping as well yeah because yeah, if they if they came up on the gadite village and, and slaughtered the whole village you know how much money that is oh, yeah. yeah every head is a scalp a hundred dollars yeah and they build their plantation there man yeah you devils got a lot to pay for, a man. Lot to pay for, man. That have never been paid for. Ah, right. And they're still, and they're, 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 till this day, they own that land. That same land has been passed on, passed on, and passed on. They got a such thing as a five dollar Indian, which, which Esau, them, were, them, them was Edomites. Yeah, yeah. those are Edomites, man. Yeah. So called yeah. white people, man. You know, claiming themselves to be of our people. You know, so that they can get, so that, they money. Could get that money, man. That government aid. They still claiming that. Yeah, they talking about, yeah, I'm a... Uh, uh, Three-fourths three, Cherokee. Yeah. You ain't no Cherokee. Yeah, they always say it. always It's Cherokee. always Cherokee. Yeah, <laughs> yeah only, <laughs> only thing they know. <laughs> Cherokee. Cherokee? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but going back, Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 2. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. Right. Those who are in the know are troubled with, with terrible fear because they know. And when we say those in the know, we're talking about the elite. Yep. All right. Because they hired archaeologists. They hired, uh, 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 what's the dude from the movie, uh, motherfuckers like, uh, Indiana Jones. Which one? They hired dudes like that to make, to, to go and make account to see if the Bible is true. Archaeologists, yeah, yeah. They hired them to go around the world and they go 
go dig this up and see if you can find this. Because the Bible says this. Oh, that's the scripture. It said that they dig up the bones yeah, of the prophets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Because they know that this book is true. Yeah. They know it. And they'll fund them too. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> they show you that in Indiana Jones. They here have a uh, a board meeting with uh with uh with higher ups and then they will give him the money to go yep. fly wherever he went. That's what they did with Christopher Cologne. Yep, same thing. So called Christopher Columbus. Same thing. Which his real name is Christopher Cologne, which was a Spanish Jew ish man. He wasn't no Italian. No right. All right. He was a he was a descendant of the Khazarians, man. Right. Amalek. They didn't even care if he came back or not. Nah. But they funded him. They funded him. And you know why they funded him? Because of the Bible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They knew that the Israelites was over here, man. Yeah. He mentioned the Apocrypha. Uh, and he mentions that address. Yeah. Yeah, he when you watch the movie uh 1492, The Conquest of Paradise. Yeah. And then he, he knew that it was on this side, um, King Solomon came to get uh, the gold the gold from here and the precious things. Yeah. So uh, King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella was like, go ahead and do it. What, what they had to lose. If he gonna come back, they'll be rich. Yeah. But if he don't come back, he's just another they dead didn't lose nothing. peasant. They would have probably had somebody else do it. Yeah. That's why the Apocrypha is so important. That's why they took the Apocrypha out of the Bible. Yeah. Uh, don't it mean to be sent away or something like yeah, that? Yeah, sent yeah, away, yeah. hidden. Sent, sent away, hidden. Yeah. Apo meaning sent, and Krefa meaning hidden. Yeah, which is where you get blue from. That's where you get the word crypt or yeah. crypto. Yeah, yeah. 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 So continuing, uh, Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 2. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. Again, that's talking about the elite. The average so-called white man, ain't, he ain't afraid of seeing us out here on these uh, street corners. They think we out of our goddamn minds. Yeah. But the elite that understand and know what the hell is going on, that knew that there was going to come a time that men will be raised up and they'll be on these street corners teaching this Bible, they're the ones trembling with uh, uh, terrible fear. Because they know this is the uh, beginning of their destruction. Matter of fact, Philippians 1.26. Oh yeah, oh, that already. Stand, uh, yeah, that's that, fire, boy. That's, yeah. that's uh, you're still in Revelation. Stand in boldness. We stand in boldness. Right. Uh, token. You're right because uh, do our do our do our all the little civil rights era, where you had our people that did try to stand up, with the elites of the society that owns America, what they would do was send out the Rosicrucians, or whatever type of organization to infiltrate them. But and at the same time, they didn't stand up with the Bible. And then they didn't stand up with the Bible, so they was. It successful. wasn't backed by the Heavenly Father. That's why it was never successful. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was never successful. That, that's why Malcolm X, Mal or Martin Luther, whatever, whoever you want to name, Fred Hampton, Fred, all those guys. None of them. That's successful. why they all were killed the way they were killed. Yeah, yeah. Acts five, uh, Acts fifth chapter. Uh, what's that? Five and thirty-eight. Yeah. Acts five and thirty-eight. Oh yeah. And right. for brother, could get that real fast. Yeah, I grabbed Acts five and thirty-eight. Right. To like 41. It's the book of Acts, chapter 5, verse uh, 38. It says, uh, It says, And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. See? If it's of men, it's going to come to naught. The Lord got to be with you for this to, uh, to flourish, to keep going. For you to, uh, you know, bring in fruit. Right. If you ain't, if, if the Lord ain't dealing with you, it, you're going to be one of them dudes that was in the uh, Black Panther laid out to the side, man. Yeah, it, it, the Lord has to be with the, uh, the revolution. Yeah. Right. And the revolution the Lord wants is what we're doing. We, he wants us to teach his word. That's the revolution in itself. Yeah. The, truth. the truth understanding of the Bible, man. Yeah, man. The truth is the revolution. In a world full of lies, the truth is the revolution, man. Listen, it's another quote in a time of revolutionary deceit. Truth is a uh, truth is like a. Uh, is it an enemy or is, is it, it like an enemy? To, I think Apostle Ramla yeah, just said it. Yeah, he just said it. Yeah. Forget it, man. But you know, basically, the truth is the only thing that uh, is these devils don't want coming out. Well, they feel it. 
said he that departed from evil making himself a prey. Yeah. Because yeah. soon as you uh, start speaking truth, it's you become an opposition yeah. to the matrix now. Oh, yeah. truth is you know, right now, now yeah, all it. eyes is on you because yeah. you're bringing out the light now, you know? Yeah, yeah you're going to look crazy too. Yeah. You're yeah. going to look crazy. But the Lord, like we read it, let me finish it. Right? Yeah. yeah. Back in Acts 5 and 39, it says, but if it be of the heavenly father, you cannot overthrow it. You can't overthrow it if it's of Yahweh, uh, of the heavenly father, Yahweh, man. You know what I'm saying? You cannot overthrow this because the Lord is dealing. The Lord got the spirit. The Lord is, is he He set this up, man. You, you can't come against the word, man. You know, when the Lord put uh, the, uh, the stamp on it, you can't erase it, man. You can't erase it. If you put that stamp on it, you ain't erasing it, man. You know, we that stamp, man. And we standing bold. We back. We in your fucking face, man. And there's nothing you could do to us until the Lord say, okay, go ahead. You know, because there will be some men that's going to be beheaded for the word, man. But, hey, that's what it is, man. Yep, it's an understanding why that has to happen. Yeah. That's a glorious death. Yeah. It's just going to further prove that we're telling the truth. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Was that it, bro? You got one more. Oh, okay. Same brothers is gonna reign with Yahweh Shah a thousand years. Yeah. Right. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the blood of his saints. That blood don't go unseen. You know? And reign with Yahweh Shah, meaning we're gonna hey for that first thousand, Esau gonna be in, in captivity. So we're gonna have we're gonna be putting this dude in the dirt for that thousand years and, and getting these nations right to where when we finish, they gonna know how to how to handle themselves. And speaking Hebrew and, 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 and heading themselves uh, with the with the high holy days and all that. Yeah, righteousness. Righteousness. That a thousand years is to establish righteousness yeah. in the earth. Yeah. Put 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 order on the earth, man. And, and Yahweh Shai gonna be with us. You know what I'm Even saying? Even beyond that. Yeah. 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 Forever. His Forever. Kingdom is Forever. Eternal. His kingdom is the everlasting kingdom. That first thousand though gonna be the crucial. Right. Yeah. That's gonna be that crucial, man. That payback yeah, yeah, that's gonna be y'all. That's gonna be the nation's Kunta Kente moment. Yeah. yeah. That's what's gonna be getting built. Yeah. 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 Everything gonna be getting built. Right. You know? on, right. Right here. I'm sorry, Dan. Go ahead. And after that, that, that thousand. Soon as the sun, you know, soon as that, uh, 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 uh that time, <laughs> uh, boom, Esau, you getting put to death. <laughs> you getting put to and death. You know, getting eradicated. Yeah. That's taking place. will be no more Edomites. Right. Yeah. And that's taking place right here on the planet Earth. That's not going to be some magical place in the sky. Right. Uh, back in Acts 5 and 39, it says, But if it be of the Heavenly Father, you cannot overthrow it. Least, least ye be found even to fight against the Heavenly Father. Yeah, so when you come up against us, you coming up against the Heavenly Father, man. What the Heavenly Father have established, so that's who you coming up against. Dudes think they coming up against us, cursing us out, trying to make us feel bad. We sent by the Heavenly Father, man. Right, right. So if we sent by the Heavenly Father, we the messengers. You you better, hey, you better talk it out with the Heavenly Father, man. Right. You know? Because anything you say against us, man, hey, the, the Lord take that as a, 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 a total disrespect, right, a man. total, like a blow. This, right, this is war we at. Yeah. So it's, he take it as, okay, you came swinging. Yeah. The Lord gonna swing at you, man, yeah. and you be able to be able to handle it when when it's time when the, when the sword come your way. Yeah, that's right. Cause we hey, we ain't playing no fucking games up here, man. We at war right now, man. That's right. And and when we up here, this our time to release. Huh. We Superman right now, basically in the spirit. Huh. You know, when we go to our regular lives, when we break apart, all right, Shalom, Makian, we Clark Kent. You know what I'm saying? We back in our little, you know. What I'm Saying everyday little fit, you know, you know, blending in with the goddamn crowd, man. But we ain't doing what the crowd do, you know. But when we up here, man, we that's we we're those spiritual supermen. Yeah, here to tell you, here to tell you the truth and to proclaim the, the God of the Bible, which is your Hubble by Shimon man. Yeah, right. and not ourselves. <laughs> I got you though. Yeah, yeah, Philippians. This is Philippians 1 and 27. Going back to Wisdom of Solomon 5, them being troubled with fear. That's that they see us. Okay? Go ahead. This is Philippians 1 and 27. 
Only let your conversation be as it becometh the gospel of Hamashiach. And that's what our conversation is out here. You know? Go ahead. That whether I come and see you or else be absent, I may hear of your affairs, that ye stand fast in one spirit, with one mind, striving together for the faith of the gospel. And in right. nothing and in nothing terrified by your adversaries. And in nothing terrified by our adversaries. You know, our adversary is like Goliath. All right? With all the power that he's been given. All right? The technology. So what? Who gives a damn? The most I gave him that. Yeah. Go ahead. And in nothing terrified by your adversaries, which is to them an evident token of perdition. It's an evident token of their destruction, of us being out here. Yeah. They know it. All right? Yeah. Why do you think they got their bunkers? Why do you think they got bunkers, man? So they can hide from the lamb. Yeah. That's why they got their bunkers, man. Because yeah. they want to hide from your house shy, man. Yeah. Esau always observing times and, and, and things of the earth. You think he ain't observing what's going on right now, man? You know? You think when 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 this first happened. Uh, when 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 uh, Abba Bibbins was on the scene, you think he wasn't watching? You think he didn't get he didn't shit in his pants and get nervous like, oh shit! You think they didn't spend millions of dollars trying to stop this truth? Yeah, man. That's what more than that's millions what now. That's what America's all about. They didn't spend all billions now um, trying to stop this truth. That's man. what America was set up for to keep the elect down. Okay, but the Lord rose us up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's why they afraid, like, oh shit. And the apostles all they got that story the, what happened when they were on uh 34 for 7, where uh the elite pulled up in that limo yep, and one yep. of them hopped out and asked them, How did you guys find this out? Yeah. We spent billions trying to hide this. Yeah. See, you can't it's the spirit of the Lord. Matter of fact, give me first Ezra's the fourth chapter. The truth is always going to surface itself, man. Yeah, right. Scripture say the, the truth which have been so long without proof shall be declared. That's yeah. right. That's in second yeah. Ezra too. That came starting with uh, Abba Bibbins, man. You know? Who yeah. we believe is Elijah the prophet. All right? That came back to restore all things. As right. Yahweh Shah said he would. Yeah. <laughs> it's like uh, that y'all would be saying, you take that buoy, you pull it all the way under the ocean, you can take it as far as you want to take it. It's yeah. still gonna rise to the top. As soon top. as you let it go, it's gonna shoot to the top. Yeah. That's right. Go straight to the point. This is a uh, second Edris. I'm sorry. First, first Edris, chapter four, verse thirty-eight. It says, "As for the truth, it endureth and is always strong. It liveth and conquereth forevermore." Yeah. With her, there is no accepting the persons of all rewards, but she. Hey. The truth is said is the truth is what started from the top again? It says, as for the truth, it endure it. It endure. Where was the truth at when we were in slavery? It was right there in our face. It was right there. It was called the Bible. It was right there, man. It just was there. We didn't get the understanding until the 1968, 1969. When Abba Bivens the spirit hopped on him okay yeah. and remember too it was a um it was it was a, it was a, a crime punishable by death if you got if caught. you got caught reading the bible man uh, yeah why you think they did they did what they did to uh what's his name nat uh turner. nat turner and all them other uh slave rebellions yeah gabriel prosser all right because they knew that's why they were able to enslave us with this book. Because we, 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 our spirit is joined to the book, man. Yeah, right, bro. Yeah. It's us. The book is us. And then they gave us, they didn't give us the whole Bible, they gave us the slave Bible. Yep. <laughs> Look up, do some history on the slave Bible and see what they took out. <laughs> they took all. <laughs> they took out every goddamn thing except the, uh, the slavery verses. Yeah. The yeah. slavery books. Yeah. yeah. A relationship between the master and the slave, that's all they left. That movie, Birth of a Nation, he was reading uh, Psalms 147, I think. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he the nation be 
Yeah, yeah. And, he was, <laughs> and he was into it too. Yeah. And was, Jake yeah, was yeah. feeling it. Yeah. And the, 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 uh, the Edomite that was behind him, he was kind of like, what the hell? Yeah. You know, but Jake was feeling it, man. Nation that was on yeah, yeah. Remember when he was in the church, he was yeah, he started reading out of songs. Yeah. Uh, okay, I forget, I forget that scene, I but I was. Two sword in his hand. <laughs> 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 I'm thinking of uh, maybe Django. That's what I was thinking okay. of. Okay. Maybe he had the he had the uh, the scriptures. Oh yeah. On his yeah, shirt. that was the Edomite. Yeah. yeah. Thou shalt fear me. That motherfucker had that whip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that it made me think of this part. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like how they would, you know, because they used uh, they knew Jake feared had a fear of the Lord. Right. Yeah. Right. And this it made me think of this part. Uh, Second Ezra. Um, Sixteen. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, let me see. And seventy-one. They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. And that's future prophecy. Yeah, and that's future prophecy. You know what I'm saying? But that fear, that fear is, 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 is not like a, uh, it's, it's, it's a fear of like, uh, you still got some kind of fear of the Lord, but yeah, it's not Jake, the fear that we have. Yeah, because Jake know that there's a higher power. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah, you get. I mean, we like been, a conscience. Yeah, like a conscience. It's like we've been dealing with the Heavenly Father since the time of Moses. We've been coming back in our incarnation. It's in our DNA. Uh -huh. Right. right. Says, There's uh, certain things a, a Jake won't do. Yeah. All right. Right. Certain yeah. things Jake just won't do. Uh, Paul said that in uh, Romans the third chapter, they have oh. not the law, but we think oh. by nature contained, yeah. contained, contained in the law. Yeah. Yep. Long to themselves or something like that. <laughs> Yeah, Jake getting their kids circumcised. Jake don't eat they, uh, Jake don't eat their uh, food with the blood in it. You know, unless they've been tainted by Esau, of course. Right. But majority of Israelites, any Israelite I went over to their house and ate their food, we didn't, I never had to deal with them uh, half cooking the meat. Undercooked. Yeah, right? Never have to deal with that. That's a, uh, What's, the, what's that family? The me and my family? Uh, oh, the Whitaker. The Whitaker. The Whitaker. <laughs> that's the Whitaker thing. Yeah, that's yeah, Whitaker. That is. <laughs> 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 oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to first entrance. Yeah, the Whitaker. Back in first entrance 4 and 38. It says, as for the truth, it endureth and is always strong. Uh -huh. It liveth and conquereth forevermore that's right the truth of the bible man and that's why we have it now you know esau his goofy ass didn't even know that i mean he had you know he didn't think it would happen pursuant to uh the willie lynch letter oh, yeah. even in that letter he told the different slave owners that the only way that these slaves will break this cycle is that there had to be a great phenomenon that occurred yeah. and the great phenomenon occurred baby you dummies. Yeah, he said that the, the system that he built will rotate on its own axis. Yep, and it has been it's for been, centuries, yeah. man. Niggas are still they, rotating on that same axis. Same axis. You know what I'm saying? Still, to this day, niggas killing each other. Yeah. Like out here, it's a whole goddamn gang war going on, man. Yeah. Okay. These niggas, is, it's like the 90s out here right now. Yeah. Yeah. Laid out, body hey. lifeless. Hey. That's why, that's why, you know, I kind of was upset. I kind of thought about like, damn, I kind of got a little emotional. But the last video I did, I'm like, man, nah, man. That that song Kendrick Lamar made then unite Jake and man and Wilder. Yeah, yeah. The, Lord, the Lord is showing like, that ain't, you ain't about to bring what I have separated. Yeah, yeah. Together what the Lord has separated. <laughs> yeah. Are you a fool? Well, yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you, this is the only way Jake coming back together, man. Right. Do this truth. Not do no hip hop song, man. We all know hip hop get niggas killed. It's a death culture. <clears throat> it says, verse 39, with her, there is no accepting of persons or rewards. Yeah, with the truth, ain't no accepting of persons, ain't no rewards. Yeah. The truth stands alone. But she, yeah. she doeth the things that are just and refraineth from all unjust and wicked things. Yeah. And all men do well like of her works. 
Yeah, yeah, go on. It says, verse 40, neither in her judgment is any unrighteousness. And she, and she is the strength, kingdom, power, and majesty of all ages. So it, read that part again where it said in her judgment is not what? It says, neither in her judgment is any unrighteousness. So what we're talking about is the truth. And yeah. you hear the judgments that we proclaim in that is gonna happen. And it ain't unrighteous. And it's not unrighteous. Right. That's right. So so you know, guys like Vocab Malone that's telling the world that we want revenge, it's not unrighteous, man. Hey, the white man wanted revenge for 9-11. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The uh the uh the uh the parents of uh who's the old girl uh OJ Kilt? Oh okay. Yeah. Oh uh, Nicole, Nicole Brown. Nicole, Nicole Brown. Yeah. Them motherfuckers wanted revenge. They yeah. was at his uh his case, no at his case when he got sentenced for stealing his own property back. Oh yeah. Back where he got some ridiculous amount of time for that bullshit. Yeah. And then the judge, which was an Edomite woman, before she sentenced the man, I think he got she sent. told him. She said, I want to make this clear. This sentence has nothing to do with your prior uh, case. Then why the fuck you mention it? Right. Demon. You devils has got some nerve, man. Yeah. yeah. It, it did. It did. It had everything to do with him getting away from chopping that goddamn adulterous ass, eating my head off. Yeah. yeah. And her, uh, her, her, her jump off. Yeah. It had everything. And the reason he got off, because the most high was with it. Yes, right. Yep. It was like the Lord, you know, the Lord has shown righteousness for a minute, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and then, and then the, 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 uh, the, the, the lawyer, Johnny Cochran, he magically just dies. Yeah, he dies. Of pneumonia. Oh, man. Man, no, man. It's because he knew the system, man. Yeah. And yeah. he knew uh, uh, how to, he, he beat you goddamn devils at your own at goddamn your own game. game. Yeah. 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 Yeah, he brought your wicked works into the play, uh, Rodney King. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. brought out that, that spirit, you know? And then what the Heavenly Father was doing, he was, the tables was turning against you devils, man. Yeah, yeah. It's been turning. Ever since this truth came in the earth, the table's been turning against you goddamn yeah, devils, man. Right. Yeah, right. That's right, man. That's right. <clears throat> it's it, it, it's like, yeah, have hey, to... hey, no, no, no time in, in history where you have a so-called black man, he got so much pull to where he can pull his son on the same team as him. <laughs> in the NBA, right? Yeah, yeah. He got the most. That make you devils mad, yeah, man. Yeah, that man. Yeah. You see the internet on fire because of that. Yeah. They mad, like what? Yeah, any superstar. Yeah, yeah. That ever played the game? Yeah. He got more pull than Michael Jordan. Yeah, more Jordan, Kobe, all. Yeah, even though we know he juiced in, but the point is, all they right? Allowed it. The devil allowed it, huh? Yeah. The point is, Jake is Jake is uh, calling the shots in Babylon, man. When you look up um, the, the reasoning, you know, the comparisons of Rome, why it fell, and, uh, you know, compared to America, Jake start to get into, it say that... Uh, the power the, seats. The, Jake start to get in power seats. Yeah. yeah the yeah, slaves. Uh, James got a card, a basketball card, worth over a million dollars. Yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's, it's a commemorating the three teams he won the, uh, the champions with, uh, Cleveland, uh, the Lakers uh, and uh, Miami. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, there's one more point. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. yeah finish that out. It says, uh, second address, point 40. My first address, lucky. It says, neither in her judgment is any unrighteousness. She is the strength, kingdom, power, and majesty of all ages. Blessed be the power of truth. Yeah, so even right. throughout all uh, ages, okay. the truth has really been it was the, uh, the conqueror of all of it, you know? Even if it wasn't pulled to the uh, forefront, it still was the truth, and it conquered. Yeah. You know? And the truth is conquering this devil now. Yeah. That's why they That's why they are afraid. That's why we read in Philippians, it's a sure sign of their destruction. Yeah, Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter. Great, uh, 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 they shall be troubled with uh, great fear. Revelation yeah. 11 chapter, let's go there. Revelation 12 and 12. Right. They know that they have but a short time. Why? Because they see the prophets. And they just be, at the time go forward, everybody figuring out what the hell you got going on, man. <laughs> and that's why, that's a part of the heavenly, that's a part of the truth too. That the heavenly father gonna set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. 
He gonna uh, uh, the kingdom be divided. Yeah. yeah. How can it sound? Yeah. Sedition among men. That, it's all a part of the truth. Everything. The whole narrative is a part of the heavenly father's prophecy and what he has spoke from the heaven and how it's, it's taking place on the earth. Yeah. He ain't, he on his throne speaking. You know what I'm saying? That's how powerful Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is, man. The Heavenly Father Yahweh is. He, he's sitting on the throne talking. Yeah, bro. And brother. things is taking place in a whole nother dimension. Wow. That's, that's. Woo-wee. Yeah. You, you don't know who you messing with, man. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, damn. You don't know. Hey, you know, 24 angels on that boy, good. Hell yeah, that's doing they have crowns now. <laughs> man, you know they do. Jake's with the most salt that there is, man. Them 24 gotta be most salt. <laughs> man. This is uh, back in Revelation 11 and 8. It says, And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Yep, right here. We were without the truth. All right, when we got over here, 1619. All right, we got over here, we touched the shores of America, 1619, which really, that was the tribe of Judah, or the northern or the southern kingdom that got over here, 1619. You already had the, the northern kingdom here. The southern kingdom touched down 1619. Mm -hmm. All the way up until 1969 is about 350 years. Mm -hmm. All right, <clears throat> and we were without the truth. Mm -hmm. Dead, mm -hmm. all right, go ahead. It says, and they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies. All these nations. All right. They knew who we were. The whole time. All of them knew who we who we are the, the whole time, man. Why you think Hitler put in his book that America has God's jewels? Right. Yeah. And they, and they got mad because Jake tweeted that, man. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, Deshaun Jackson. No, he all he did was tweet that quote from Hitler, and that nigga caught hell. I don't think he, he was working after that. I don't think he got a job. Yeah, I don't think he been play. He ain't played since. He been blackballed, huh? Yeah, he been blackballed. He's still young, bro. He's still young. Thirty three. Yeah, truth. It says, "Hey, like the scriptures say, he that departed from evil, maketh himself a prey. <laughs> he might as well cut it as truth now. Good plan." <laughs> See, we ain't got nothing to lose. We ain't got no million dollar contracts to shoot a basketball or, or run that motherfucking football or throw it. We 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 are average jakes, man. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got nothing to lose. So even if we did have something to lose, because we do have brothers who had something to lose, and they lost it. Okay. It ain't. It can't compare to what the Lord got in store for us. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. It says, and they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half, and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves. Yep. And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them, and make merry, and shall send gifts one to another. Yep. Because these these two prophets tormented them. That that dwelt on the earth. That's right. Right, and um, you know the movie Amistad. It's a famous uh, scene in that movie Amistad where you had the Hamites basically uh, admiring the musket guns and they got all different type of commodity, and you see us getting away, walking off with with, with uh, chains, and that was the beginning of them passing gifts to each other. Yeah, they sold a boy for wine. Yeah, that's in the scriptures. Boy for harlot, and they. With musket guns as well. Yeah. 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 I got you. Go ahead, read it real quick. This is Joel 3 and 1. For behold, in those days, in that time, when I shall begin, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather all nations and will gather them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them there for my people and for my people and for my heritage israel yeah which is you know that's a big part of the the heavenly father's plan you're going to take all you nations and bring you right over there in the middle east 
in that Saudi Arabian desert and he gonna judge you for what you did to the Israelites, you know? The captivity that you had established, the whole little transatlantic slave trade, you know? Yep. You're gonna get judged in the, in the World War III. Even the slavery before that. Yeah. Because you had Ishmael uh, taking uh, yep. Jake from the middle during that time of the Dark Ages. Yeah. All right? <clears throat> and they were taking Jake into captivity back to goddamn uh, Europe. Uh, 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 their lands, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah the Arab, it was the Arab. It the was Arabs. The, you can look it up. It's the Arab it's slave trade. It was it was right before the transatlantic. As a matter of fact, the transatlantic trace slave trade, the whole system how they were moving it was, it was based off of how yep. the Arabs had it that. Was, it was carbon copied after them goddamn yep. Ishmaelites. Yep. Ishmael, Ishmael. You know? Yeah, you gonna get it too, Ishmael. Mm -hmm. Yo, know, how you doing, our women? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You 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 bringing them over there, paying them to shit on them and all that. You gonna get yours, man. Yeah. yeah. Your little Seven Elevens. Every time I go in there, man, they they be sitting there. They, you know what they do to grab them hot dogs? You know that they put gloves on and shit. They put gloves on, then grab the little fork thing and they grab it. <laughs> but you gonna give that pork to us though? Yeah, you know. Yeah. And they also steal it with those uh, those machines that you put your card in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they stealing. I grab them motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah. I, every time I shake them, I'm like, man, those motherfuckers better not <laughs> make sure. Yeah. Motherfuckers See, you're looking at me that. crazy. I just stop. I'm like, man, I'm just making sure, man. Yeah, motherfucker, you a demon, you know? <laughs> yeah, they some demons, man. Yeah, they, they, bro, they, they, in the scriptures, you known as being, um, men that still, uh, souls of men. You, you put people in slavery, man. Like, it's nothing. In the middle of the desert, you're trying to get to your people, you walking through the desert back in that time, and Arabs in a cut somewhere, <coughs> and, and you, you gone. You know, I just looked it up. The CEO of 7-Eleven is an uh, Edomite named Joseph DePinto. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Esau going to get a cut. But who who, who gets to uh, buy into that franchise? Mm -hmm. Ishmael. Yep. Right? Yep. Ishmael and Elam. Elam and Ishmael. Esau is the head of the heathen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The heathen. It's yeah. Uh, Psalms 83. Right. You know? Yeah. I'm going to put the head of the heathen, man. <laughs> Everything <laughs> in 7-Eleven is poison. Yeah, that's Every terrible, terrible y'all. Yeah, yeah. Ain't no real food in that motherfucker, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now uh, coffee, coffee, have your blow hurt and shit. 7-Eleven and uh, Shell too, Gas Station now is linking up. Yeah. Because when I go to that Shell Gas Station, uh, and point in, punch in the reward codes, they it's got the 7-Eleven logo on there. Yeah, there it go. Yeah. Back in Joel, three and two, I mean three and three, and they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for an harlot and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. Yep. The Africans, like the brother mentioned in the, the scene in Amistad, how uh, Jake's, the, the Israelites was being carted off in chains, but the Africans was admiring the mustard runs because that's, that was the trade. And then, then there's another good movie right on YouTube, man. When I watch this movie, it put tears in my eyes. Goodbye, Uncle Tom. Yeah. It's, it's still up there too. It's still. They don't. Why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they put that down, bro? Because the Lord make that be up, uh, make that be up there. And then in, the, in there, they got nudity and everything. They showing some crucial stuff. Yeah. What's crazy? Always crucial about that movie is how how did he saw get our people to act that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, there's no there's no credit in here. Right. All of that is the credits is really gone. It's nothing really how you could trace how he did it. Money. We yeah. had grown men filling on little girls in the movie on their yeah. butt, in their breasts, and in, in their body parts in the movie. These are grown ass men, and it was young, uh, 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 so called Girls. black women, man. Yeah, they they had the, the little young boys. They showed a little young boy fully naked and painting him gold having an Edomite touch on him. Yeah. Like it said, read it again, I It says, Joel 3 and 3, and they have cast lots, lots for my people. They have given a boy for an harlot. There you go, right there, a boy for a harlot. They were, um, Freaking forcing, off on them. Yeah, man. freaking off on the boys, just like they doing today. Yeah. Just like they doing today. Why you think when you get into that music industry, they, they telling you what you gotta do, man. Entertainment. Period. 
Yeah, the whole entertainment industry. Look at uh, what's we mentioned the nigga name earlier, uh, Orlando Brown. They oh, they've been freaking off on that nigga since he was a little boy. He 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 uh openly just admits it. Yeah. And if, back then, if you had a mother that brought in a, a big strong cock diesel dude, right? What they would do is blindfold the uh the the dude, and he will be he will be uh 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 fucking his own mother. That's where you get the term motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. That's why people use motherfucker to this day, and they don't even know where to go back to, man. <laughs> it's it go back to slavery because they wanted to they wanted to they wanted to keep producing that big cock strong as uh, uh Jake yeah. because they get more money for him yeah breeding they, it's called breeding farm yeah they treated us like animals man it, it gets so like because you know I'll be diving into that part of history and all that it gets so irritating sometimes i gotta i can't even i gotta just say nah i can't look at that right now man yeah it fucks my spirit up man you know sometimes i'll be still i can't watch this right now i gotta keep going you know that's why the lord said he was gonna consume us that shit man <laughs> consumed us man yeah back in joel three and four yeah and what have ye to do with me Oh, Tyree and Sidon. Which were those Africans? Mm -hmm. And all the coast of Palestine. Will you render me a recompense? And if you recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? Here we go. You know, these heathens, when they make the moves that they make, they it's like they're trying to get back at the Heavenly Father. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, you can figure out. For, for the Lord not choosing them. Yeah, for the Lord not choosing them. And, like during the time of uh, Nimrod. They built that tower during the time of Nimrod because they was mad at the Heavenly Father flooding the earth. Yeah, and they it didn't was, want to be flooded again. They didn't want to be flooded again. They were trying to get back at the Heavenly Father, man. But so they he, didn't understand the covenant slot. Yep, yeah, no, you yep, yep. They didn't understand. They didn't they didn't understand. So it's just a history of how the heathen always trying to get at the Heavenly Father, man. Yeah, yeah. And that's why the Heavenly Father gotta always lay they lay them to the side, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gotta show them who they are. Right. That's why they always getting jacked up with the weather events and earthquakes. Yeah. They constantly getting fucked up, man. Right, right. And like I said, Tyree and Zidane, when you look at the ancient map of Tyree and Zidane, that's off the coast of Israel of the Mediterranean Sea. Now the scriptures say a bastard shall dwell in Ashdod, which is in the same region. Who's in there today? Who's in there today? I the one. Yeah. In in um in it's Ishmael. Ishmael. <laughs> the people on that coast that was it was there, they're not in there. You know? Right. The original was the Hamites. Yeah. You know? Canaanites. Yeah. Mm-hmm. First five. Back in Joel 3 and 5. Because you have taken my silver and my gold. And have carried into your temples my goodly pleasant things. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have you sold unto the Grecians that you might remove them from far from their borders. Bro, is That's this written in the book happened. of Joel, bro? Yeah, wow. Look How was he man. calling them a Grecian? Right. 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 <laughs> the Lord gave Joel the um the future prophecy yeah. at his time. Yeah. yeah. It's like I think you were gonna say something. No, no, y'all, you good. You you know? good. The Lord gave um, Joel the prophecy of the, of the future. And the Grecians, who was the Grecians? All right, your, your famous Alexander. Okay. That's who, that, that, them <coughs> people. Who is them people? Edomites. Who are they today? They call themselves so-called white men. You know? Yeah. Verse seven, behold, I will raise them up out of the, out of the place where you have sold them and, re and will return your recompense upon your own head. There we go. Where was we sold at, man? Head. What was uh, that famous saying? Um, we didn't land on Plymouth uh, Rock. Plymouth Rock landed on us. Malcolm X. You know what I'm saying? That was the, that's a famous place where we were sold at, man. And then all off the coast, you got that Virginia, that spot in Virginia, Virginia. That vocab alone even went to go visit and did a show in front of me. 
which was like the first docket, the first dock of slaves came to Virginia. Yeah, Jamestown, Virginia, I think yeah, it was. Yeah, I believe that's where uh, Willie Lynch was uh, visiting. Yeah. yeah. And and um um like the scripture just said, uh read it again, I it says verse seven, behold, I will raise them, raise them out of the place where you have sold them. The scripture said we were sold here. This was not voluntary, like uh the narrative is trying to be switched in the earth. Like we wanted to come here. This was voluntary. What what the hell? The scripture said we were sold. <laughs> I think Kanye tried to say some shit like that. Yeah, yeah he did on TMZ. Yeah. Oh, that where that was? Worked for TMZ it was on his head. Yeah. It was, it was, they, it was, they, they come with so many talk, weird narratives talk. now. It's just like, look, bro, the scriptures got well, with with the documents is found right in the scriptures. And then they still have auction blocks, them little blocks they were selling us on. They still have those to this day. And throughout certain museums and things like that as artifacts. Yeah, yeah. and still use certain phrases like Black Friday. Yeah. Yeah. Black Friday goes back to that, what the brother is uh, speaking on, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> they still got those ancient pictures of uh, Black Friday. Yep. With, uh, yep. with the yeah. women and, the and her child. Yeah. Yeah. They still got um, yokes of iron and old slave uh, cuffs, handcuffs in this place still. They still got those things and they put them in museums, man. Yeah. Yeah, certain museums, you can't even take your phone in. Because mm -hmm. they don't want you taking pictures. Right. <laughs> yep. Yep. Verse 8. Back in Joel 3 and 8. And I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hand of the children of Judah. And they shall sell them to the Sabians, to a people far off. For the Lord has spoken. Yeah, which the tribe of one. Judah, you know, they call it the worst because they're the head tribe. Yeah. You know, the Negroes. And they call it the worst. Now the Heavenly Father, you know, the Negroes represent all of us, though, you know. We all going to be selling your ass. But, you know, the Lord going to allow Judah to get his fair share, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and we're going to be selling y'all to brethren. You know, and y'all going to build the court, our quarters. That's what y'all going to do. Yeah, like we, we were hey, speaking on Thursday, you gonna mine the earth and get those precious stones and stuff. They're not worth being so sold. Yeah, that's what I was just. We're gonna give bro, them to yeah. brothers. Hey, I, hey, I would take bro, take this back, man. You know I didn't say saying? it, but I was thinking it. And yeah. the spirit had you say it. Yeah, we ain't gonna, gonna sell. We ain't gonna sell nothing to do, man. We gonna we gonna be we gonna be giving if you ugly motherfuckers to brothers, man. You know, do it out my face, man. Let's take his whole fucking yeah, his whole family go. That's for you, huh? You know what I'm saying? Shit, it's thirty of them ugly motherfuckers. <laughs> and so I got a script Deuteronomy 30 and 1 and it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee the blessing and the curse which I have set before thee and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations whither the Lord thy power have driven thee and shall return unto the Lord thy power and shall obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day Woo! Thou and thy children, with all thine heart and with all thy soul, that then the Lord thy power will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee, and will return and gather thee from all the nations, whither the Lord thy power hath scattered thee. If any of thine be driven out unto the outgoes. Which the, it's like the, 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 the curse is happening. We, we, we at this point. Yeah. We, got the, we got a part of the blessings. We got that during the time of uh, uh, Solomon. You know, we got that. And then uh, in King David, we got like a portion of the blessings. Then we receiving the curses. We, 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 the curses is fulfilled, man. They're fulfilled. And then now, and then it said, we're going to turn back to the Heavenly Father after the blessings and the curses. But then it, the, there's more to come for the blessings as well. Yeah, the true blessings. The true ones. Yeah. Right, because even though we were blessed during the time of King David, and King Solomon, we still were under the first covenant. Right, right. All right? See, the second covenant is when we're going to be 100% perfect. Ain't going to be no uh, going off. Yeah. You know? Right. Yeah, that Deuteronomy 1 through, what, the 28, 1 through 14 going to be really in motion. Yeah, because we ain't going to be no going off, man. It says, uh, verse, verse 4. If any of thine be driven out 
unto the outmost parts of heaven, from thence will the Lord thy power gather thee, and from thence will he fetch thee, and the Lord thy power will bring thee into the land which thy fathers possessed, mm -hmm. and thou shalt possess it, and he will do thee good and multiply thee above thy fathers. And the Lord thy power will circumcise thine heart and the heart of thy seed to love the Lord thy power with all thine heart. The new covenant. That's that's going to be the ultimate blessing right yeah. there. That's it. Right. That's Not right. one of our people is going to be <laughs> off, man. Right. Now, what? Even the most wicked of them today, like I was, I was people Jay-Z yesterday. Uh, that nigga wicked as hell, man. But that nigga going to be good in the kingdom, man. Yeah. No, no, I was just listening to uh, his uh, one of his albums yesterday. And I was like, this nigga wicked, man. This nigga was making music based off of fucking thug life type shit, you know? Drug dealing and shit. But, Even uh, the one with uh, Betrayed the Lord, he gonna be good. Yeah, Judas, huh? You Judas, said yeah. yeah. Judas gonna be good, man. Hey, I was thinking about that word fetch right there. How Yahweh Shai said he's gonna send his angels around the four corners of the wind. Yeah. That's how he's gonna fetch the elect. By the angels. By the by what Esau calls UFOs. Right. So the chariot for the heavenly father. That's gonna gather the elect. That's how the Lord is gonna fetch. Like you play fetch with a dog, you throw the bone, far as hell. That's how the Lord does. You know, he he scriptures say he tossed us like a ball, man. Right, right. And, you know, amongst the four corners of the wind. So the Lord gonna send the angels and he's gonna gather us up, man. Yeah, you know? we've been everywhere, bro. You got brothers in Australia, you know? Australia, everywhere, man. Everywhere. Yeah. Philippines, Africa. 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 Yeah. But going back, verse 6. And the Lord thy power will circumcise thine heart and the heart of thy seed to love the Lord thy power with all thine heart and with all thy soul that thou mayest live. And the Lord thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee which persecute thee. Woo! Hey, hey, so for us to be circumcised, we gotta be changed. You know? To where we will be ultimately hundred percent perfect. To where we will never go off no more. Well, we will never go into captivity. Well, circumcised of the, of the mind, right. of the heart. That's right. And like I said, all you all y'all getting all the curses. Okay. So that means you will not be called by your biblical names no more. We're gonna call you whatever we desire, and it's gonna yeah. be funny. Yeah. You're gonna be a laughing stock in that fashion. Right. You're gonna be the tail, like the scriptures say. Yeah. You're gonna receive all type of diseases. Some just your yeah. kneecap, your knee. The scriptures say we're gonna have a botch in our knee. Y'all knees is gonna be going out when y'all in your teenage years. You see them now. Yeah. You see these these Edomite derelicts now, they through. Yeah, they finished, bro. They don't know how to survive out here. Jake could get the basket, he'll, he'll, he'll survive. Yeah. He'll have a basket, he'll have a blanket in that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? He'll have a few pairs of shoes mm -hmm. that's too big for him. Yeah. But he'll be out here making it do what it do. And still but have Edomite, like a... they through, man. They yeah. through. Same All, same all they everybody. do is beg, like this, like this demon right here. Yeah. Jake ain't standing in the middle of no goddamn island with a sign. Jake is like, fuck it, I gotta do what I gotta do out here, man. Them, them downtown LA, bro, uh, Jake, down, man, they got TVs and. Yeah, yeah, they got TVs. They put Facebook shit on them. They sweeping them. Yeah, I just mean, saw, you saw, laid out. Yeah, you spray your window real fast. Yeah, he got his little window. Yeah, he's gonna him up. And a towel for Windex. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, like, he got, he missing his ears. Uh, over here on um, 20th, 20th and K, and uh, all he do out there is stand out there and ask for your recycles like like this. You don't want your recycles, and people when they roll past, they hand them his, their recycles, bro. That's how he making his money, you know? Cause you know people be drinking stuff and they want to get rid of it out of their car. Well, he's like yeah. a, he's like their trash can. Right, right. He do it every day. Jake do what they gotta do, man. Uh, he yeah. saw. <laughs> He saw ain't seen he ain't seen poverty since the goddamn cage. <laughs> hey, the Lord <laughs> built us tough, man. Yeah, he saw. The Lord yeah, went, we went hey, even in our uh even in our captivity, the Lord built us tough. He put a certain spirit to where Jake can Jake handle it. That's why they used to say Jake can't feel no pain. Mm -hmm. That's oh. what they that's why when they used to do surgery on us, they said, Well shit, we don't they don't need no anesthetic. Mm -hmm. They could they don't feel pain. 
because we went through all that hard uh, torture and, 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 and uh, 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 whippings and you know hell that this damn devil put on us and still had a smile at the end of the day. Yeah, still moving. You know, still still didn't break Jake's spirit. Jake right. still found a way to smile at the end of the day. Right, right, right. Remember, um, uh, remember the cartoons, the way that, that, how they came up with the concept when you look at a cartoon, somebody get jacked up, that it was like, you should die if, you know, somebody fall off a cliff. Right. The cartoon should die, but it doesn't die. Right. They got that concept from, like you're saying, yeah. that Jake, um, Jake basically don't feel no pain mm -hmm. because your first cartoons was based after slavery, man. Yeah. You still in Revelation? Yeah, I'm still holding. All right, all right, good. This is uh, Ezekiel 34 and 11. Let's go back to uh, what you were saying about, about how the Lord scattered us. And, uh, you know, he basically is going to come get us. He's been a fetch for us. Yeah. Ezekiel 34 and 11. For thus saith the Lord power, behold, I, even I, will both search my sheep and seek them out. As a shepherd seeketh out of his flock in the day that he is among his sheep that are scattered, so will I seek out my sheep and will deliver them out of all the places where they have been scattered in the cloudy and dark day. I got one. Probably in dark day. That's when the Lord returned, man, with those yeah. ships and uh, the, the the father ship, man. You know, that's when the Lord gonna seek out His ship. I got one. Yeah. Uh, go I mean, with that. Sheep, so like that's his ship. Uh, this is the book of James, chapter <clears throat> five, verse seven. Um, it says, "Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husbandman waited for the precious fruit of the earth." and have long patience for it until he received the early and latter rain. And that's us. Yeah. The husbandman is talking about Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. He planted this. We were planted by them. All right? And now we're, we're springing up. What happens when you spring up, when your fruit of your, uh, you ready to be what you planted? Yeah. It's time to harvest it. Yeah. All right? Yeah. And that's what uh, Matthew the 13th chapter is all about. All right, we at we 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 just about at the harvest, man. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. You go back to uh, Revelation 11. This is uh, back in Revelation 11, uh. in uh, verse 10. It says, "And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them, and make merry, and shall send gifts one to another." Because these two prophets tormented them that dwelt on the earth. Yeah. And after three days and a half. 350 years. All right. We were dead. We were dead. And these nations rejoiced at it. They was rejoicing at us uh, uh, being in that dead state. Mm -hmm. Okay. They were able to, uh, when, we, when we would establish certain cities, we would have our cities. You know, when we were living amongst each other, spending our money amongst each other, they 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 had the, the privilege or the, the liking to where they can roll up on us and just destroy us. Mm -hmm. And then rejoice at it. Yeah. Okay. That's what that's what uh when they that term uh make America great again, right. you know, the deepness of that is bringing it back to slavery times. Yeah. To where we had the Israelites in full subjection. Yeah. Uh, uh, who who used that? I think it was George Bush, yeah. father, the father, senior. Yeah. And uh, what's uh, Trump took it from him, and and guess what Trump did? He uh he patented. It. Mm, that's damn, okay. He and actually. That's Nero. Yeah, he patented that. Trump finna bring hell. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Or, uh, cop or copyrighted. Uh, it says, and after three days and a half, the spirit of life from the Most High entered into them, and they stood upon their feet. And that's what's happening now. The spirit of life, that great phenomenon that Willie Lynch talked about in his letter mm -hmm. to the other slave masters. All right? That great phenomenon, phenomenon 
was the spirit of the Heavenly Father raising up Abba Bibbins. And it opened him up to this to the truth of the Bible. From 1969 all the way up until this point now. And now we all <clears throat> we've sprung up and we standing upon our feet claiming our heritage, man. Claiming our power. His true name, Yahweh, and his son, Yahweh Shai. All right. All right? And this is what they're afraid of. Go ahead. He says, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. Yeah, great fear. Because they know the, the, what's coming for their ass, man. Mm -hmm. They know it's not going to be a, 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 a marble game. You know what I'm saying? Some fun. They know that it's over for them. All right? Now that we've woken up to the fact of who we are and who our God is. They know it. Mm -hmm. And like I said earlier, not the average white man. Okay? The white man, you go to work. You see him at work. You know what I'm saying? You see him in traffic. You see him at the restaurant. Not him. He don't even know what the hell is going on. This is talking about the elite bankers who set this whole shit up to keep us down. They the ones trembling. They the ones fleeing to their bunkers. And we we, we got to get underground. The lamb is coming, man. Right. Do you see them? They, they're popping up everywhere. You know, first it was just America. First it was just New York. Now it's all over America. Now it's in South America. Now it's in Africa. It's in Australia. Europe. So they're afraid, man. Right. It's in Holland. It's in Germany. Everywhere where we were put to shame. Yeah. Jake is out there proclaiming their heritage in the truth of the Bible. Right. You don't think these devils are afraid? Yeah. They are petrified. Yep. All right. Yep, yep. I got a quick one. They see the Northern Kingdom coming up. They see brothers doing it in sign language. Like God, dang. Oh yeah, that's crazy, right? Yeah. You know. <clears throat> yep. And what's even more, like you said, you mentioned the Northern Kingdom, the so-called Latinos and Native Americans. All right. Standing, standing with the so-called Negro, West Indian, and Haitian. That's scary, man. Yeah. To these devils. Yep. Good. Huh? It says Ezekiel 25 and 14. It says, and I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. Right. And they should do in Edom according to mine anger and according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord power. Right. Yep. And that ain't even, that's a future prophecy. That ain't came to pass yet. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Good. This is Lamentations 4 and 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. What's that cup, man? What's the scripture? Psalm 75. Let's go there real quick. 75 and 5, I think it is. See, the Lord orchestrates things on this earth, man. And now it's your turn, Esau. Yeah. You, you got it out. You you gonna have to you gonna have to drink the dregs of this cup. Go ahead. Straight to the point. You go. What is it? Five. Uh, five. But the point is in verse eight. We we uh uh start from five. This is uh Psalm seventy-five and five. It says, "Lift not up your horn on high. Speak not with a stiff neck, for promotion cometh neither from the east nor from the west nor from the south." But the Most High is the judge. Point blank, period. Go ahead. He put it down one and set it up another. And he put us down and rose up the white man. And now it's time for the white man to be put down and right. us to be risen back up. Right. Right. That's just that's just the bottom line. What the rock say? <laughs> and, and, and that's the bottom line. That's the bottom line. All right. Well, Stone Cold, yeah, Stone, Stone Cold. Stone Cold says so. <laughs> Go ahead. It says, uh, verse 8, For in the hand of the Lord there is a cup, and the wine is red. It is full of mixture, and he poureth out of the same. 
But the dregs thereof, the meaning the last of it, the dregs is the bottom and the most bitter part of, of any drink. Sediment. You know, the sediments. That's the, uh, if, you, if you're a beer drinker, that last bit of that beer is the, is the, is the worst part. That's why when <laughs> you see a motherfucker drinking, they be like, ah. <laughs> you know, they, ah. That last bit, because it's bitter. If you ever notice that, leave it too. If you yeah, ever check somebody can, that little last is chilly, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. It says, but the dregs thereof, all the wicked of the earth shall bring them out and drink them. All the wicked. That means every last Edomite on the planet is going to drink of that cup of the Lord, man. That's why uh, Proverbs 11 and 21 is written. Don't hand join in hand, yet the wicked shall not be unpunished. You know? If they eat them, might say it's, 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 it's over. Mm -hmm. And this is why they are so afraid, man. Mm -hmm. And like uh, the apostles and elders always say, we don't even know how they're going to deal with it, man. <laughs> the Lord going to have to put a spirit on these devils, man, <laughs> yeah, to, deal, to deal with the uh, with double what we got. Yeah, yeah. The spiritual power attached to us. Oh, man. But they gonna have to have the Lord gonna have to have a spirit on these Edomites. Well, they're man. not gonna be able to deal with it because it talks about that. Can you dip your? Can they dip their finger in uh in uh Luke, six, uh, Luke? sixteen? Yeah. So they ain't gonna be able to deal one. with it. <clears throat> they gonna want some. They gonna want some mercy, but ain't no mercy coming to you. Yeah. yeah no because you didn't show no mercy. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How was it on that? I think I'm more aware than that meditation. What's up, bro? How y'all doing, man? All right, all right. I'm new out here, bro, and I've been out here about a week. And I just got a few, two questions. Yeah. Did you guys have a school? Right here. Okay. Every other Saturday. The second question is the most important. I was watching you guys on YouTube. I didn't know you guys was on YouTube. And I don't know, man. Was that an angel back there? It was. Indeed. It was. It was indeed. That's what we believe. Yep. Yeah, that kind of hit me real deep. Real deep. You know what I mean? Yeah, same with us, because yeah. we didn't notice it till till afterwards. Yeah. So I've been up here three times a day, man, waiting on you guys. Oh, okay. To come up here so I can ask y'all that, man, because I felt like he was talking to me, looking at me. Because I'm trying to get in the word too. Absolutely. So uh that was an angel back there. Absolutely, we believe that. Yep. Okay. Absolutely. I too, though, probably, though. Something in that's why I can't go get three times a day. That's know, right. Dude. Yeah. I can't stay in the sun, man, because I got thyroids in the sun. Mess me up. Okay. But uh I see you guys out here around five o'clock. Well we, we start about three. Every other Saturday. We be out here about three. Okay. Yeah. Okay, my name is Drake, man. I'll see you guys next uh, two more weeks. All right, my brother. It. All right, bro. Oh, hey, show one. Wow, that, that video. <laughs> That's what I said. I didn't even know, bro. That shit got 14,000. 14, <laughs> Damn. When I looked at it, it was only like. Yeah, I'm still getting comments on it. It was like <laughs> almost 500. And you had like 40 something. Yeah, brother, that brother, that's your number one video, huh? <laughs> it is. As I'm far as uh, views and, like, and whatnot, it is. That's how you know, you know, once the Heavenly Father, you know, uh, do just something. Yeah. Jake gon' Jake yeah, gonna get up, man. That, yeah. That's hey, why uh, the scriptures say that like, people shall be willing in the day of that power. power. Get it, Woo! man, get it. Man. You know what I'm saying? Man, I want to get the, uh, the one for Acts 2 where it says, somebody was adding on to the church. Right. Oh, yeah. right. The day of that power is Psalms 110. 119. 119. Like you won't get the one Acts. No, you, you got Acts, bro. Uh, Psalms 119 or 110 and 10. Yeah, 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 yeah if, you, if you got it, I go ahead. This is Psalms 110 and 3. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power, in the beauty of holiness from the womb of the morning, mm -hmm. thou hast the dew of thy youth. That's right, man. That's right. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the Lord sending signs like that, like an angel. That's a sign that the, the power is back with us. Yeah. All right. Uh, when you go to, what's that, Isaiah 7? And his name shall be called Emmanuel. Oh, yeah. When you look up that word Emmanuel, 
the Hebrew word Am Nawa Allah, which means uh, the power is with us. Yeah. And that's a sign that the power is back with us, man. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. All right? That ain't happen. Things like that just don't happen, man. Yeah. But that used to happen uh, on a, a, current, a reoccurring basis in the ancient world, man. Yeah, right. like it was nothing. Right. Remember when uh, Peter, uh, I think he was in jail or he got released? No, he was in jail and the, and the angel released him. Yeah. yeah but it was the angel that came and got him out of jail. Yeah. But the woman, remember when uh, they when thought he, it when was he knocked people, on the door, they she, thought it was his angel. The woman yeah. came and she, yeah, because, she because they saw him get taken. Yeah, right. Yeah, Rhoda. Her name was Rhoda. They was like, hold up, man. He sound like Peter. She couldn't even open the door right away because they saw Peter get took. Yeah. And it was like, ain't no way he back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But the angel bust him up out of there, man. Woo! Oh, oh. Yeah, the point I was I was making, angels were seen on the average because why would she say that? Yeah. It might be him as angel. Hey, you know? when Mary went to the tombstone, to Yahweh's tomb, oh, yeah. it was two angels sitting there chilling. Man. You know what I'm saying? One at the foot of the tomb, one at the other end of the tomb. Which represent the ark. Yeah, the ark of the covenant. The ark of the covenant, man. And what was in the ark of the uh, covenant? Uh, Aaron's, uh, Aaron's rod manna. and manna. 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 Yeah. What y'all was shot say, I'm that manna that I'm came. I'm the manna that came uh, from heaven, that's man. That's it. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Remember uh, when Yahweh Shai disguised himself as the gardener to uh, yep. Mary? Yeah. I think about a like, situation like that, man. Yeah, he yeah, disguised himself part. amongst his disciples. Yeah. They were sitting there talking with him, and they didn't know it was him till he disappeared. Yeah. And that's when they were like, did our heart burn yeah. within us when he was with us? Yeah. Woo! Oh, <laughs> man, I see how it shines. Right he's, right the, yeah. he's the high priest at the order of Melchizedek, which is that rod of Aaron that was in there. Yeah. The, the tablets was in there, which I was shy to say he's law? the end of the law. Yep. Uh, in, in manner, yeah, in manner, he was representation of all things. That all of that, man. That's why. That's why. Uh, 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 Psalms forty and seven is written. He you know what I'm saying? I come in the volume of the book. Mm -hmm. For lo, it is written of me. Yeah. yeah. Right. He that overcome it will be able to eat of that hidden manna. Yeah. You know, we don't know what that is, but yeah. <laughs> we eating it. <laughs> this hidden manna is this truth. Yeah. <clears throat> it came from heaven. <laughs> it wasn't nothing none of us did to uh, get this understanding. The most I had to, give me that in Wisdom of Solomon, uh, what is that, the sixth or seventh chapter? For his uh, uh, inspiration, pure influence from the floor, from the throne of the Almighty. This, this knowledge came from the heavens, literally, man. Streaming. And tapped into your, your pineal gland. Yeah, yeah. That's what uh, influence. Pinesia. It mean yeah, influence mean a stream. Yeah. So wisdom of Solomon chapter seven, verse twenty-four. Uh. It says, For wisdom is more moving than any motion. Uh -huh. She passeth and goeth through all things by reason of her pureness. For she is the breath and the power of the Heavenly Father, and a pure influence flowing from the glory of the Almighty. Therefore, can know the foul thing falling to her. That's right, man. That's right. I got another the one pure you. influence flowing from the throne of the Almighty, man. Meaning, no, you if it ain't came from there, you can't you can't make yourself get this. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You can't make yourself get this understanding. Why you think vocab can't get it? This motherfucker that went to school. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But he still don't understand it. He can't get it. You can't buy this, man. Yep. It has to be given to you. Yep. It's a gift. It has no match. <clears throat> yep. I got a quick one to back that up. Uh, Job 32 and 8. It says, There is a spirit in man, and the inspiration of the Almighty giveth them understanding. Oh, uh, That's right. I saw, I saw I based my page off of that. What's that? What, what's the that? inspiration of the Almighty. That's yep. Job, what, bro? 32 and 8. Yep. Inspiration. Yeah. When you look, do, look up that word inspiration real quick in the Adam mind. Uh, you look, get Adam? Yeah. I'm a, uh, to inspire. Yeah, I'm going to have to put that as a precept. Got it. 32 and 8. Oh, that's man. A, uh, shit. That's a Hebrew name for a brother. Yeah. It's uh, inspiration. It's, uh, it's a noun. It says immediate. This is in the Adam online. Immediate influence 
of the Most High. Immediate. <laughs> what happened when the disciples heard the voice of the Lord? Immediately. Straightway, they dropped their nets and followed. Immediately. So, same thing when you heard this for the first time. All of us, all of you on the comment boards, all of you watching, when you heard this for the first time, it was immediate, man. Yeah. You didn't you didn't second guess nothing. Mm -hmm. You knew that this was it. Right. That's right. You because it was an influence from the throne of the Almighty, man. Bro, I remember. I'll you... never forget the first time I heard it. Oh yeah, I was just gonna say <laughs> I'll never forget yeah. it, man. Yeah. I remember when you came through and you start seeing it. I, I I understood it like, you know, not understood it, understood it, but I understood it like, oh, that's it. Right. That you is get, it. You get convicted in your mind. Like, oh, yeah. that's that the answer. The truth. Yeah. Like, oh, then, it, then, yeah. then when you see the scriptures fl flying, and yeah. you're like, oh, I didn't know that was in there. Yeah, it's immediate, man. Mm -hmm. And that's coming from the throne, man. This is, uh, come on, man. We finna win, y'all. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> breathing on him. He breathed, he breathed life. He breathed life into Adam. Man, the yeah. power is with us, man. That's right, man. That's, that's what it goes on to say. It says immediate influence of the Most High or power, especially that under which the holy books were written. Woo! <laughs> man, it says. Is it not? Is it not written? Give me that scripture. Uh. 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 uh Holy men spoke right there and move on the Holy Spirit. But it's another one, it's another one, uh what the one Job? Type in inspire. Okay. But the, 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 oh, inspiration. Oh, I know you touched Peter one I can't even put the words together in my head right now, man. Yeah, but it says that uh no no uh could be Where you at? First Peter? Let me go to second, bro. Second Peter. What, what's the word? This name's go, go to second Peter. Okay. Where it says uh, it, it can't be no no private oh, interpretation. Right. It's right there, huh? Oh, that's not. Oh, no, you know, moved by the Holy Spirit. Moved by the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Yeah, holy men moved by the Holy Spirit, man. Oh, yep, got it, got it, got it. That's it. Yep. Second Peter's one and twenty. It says, knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. Uh -huh. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but the whole but holy men of the heavenly father spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. Look up that word moved. Let's see what that says. Yep. Moved. It goes back to the Strong's G5342. And it says to carry, carry a burden. To move, hey. a person's born, hey, a gust of wind, to mind, to bring, bring forward. Is it an edamon? Uh, like uh, the burden of the word from Amos. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Announce it, produce. Yeah, the burden of Amos. Yeah. 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 To endure, announce, but in announcing. Yeah. To bring in by announcing, to lead, yep, conduct. Mm. Yep. <clears throat> that's that's how the spirit moved every single last one of us, brother. Yeah. And it was immediate, man. Yeah. You know, to where you know, like brother, we were speaking a little earlier. Brethren had certain things going, and then brethren are young. You know, brethren were coming in in their twenties, man. Certain brethren in their teenage years, when you supposed to be uh, going messing with women and. And, just and, engulfed in the world. And right. Just being a goofy out here. Right. Another way of saying it is being quickened. Whoa, yep. Yep. Yeah, quickened. We, yep. we was quickened by the Holy Spirit. That's right. You know? Quickened is a beautiful word. Yeah. yeah. For it's the spirit that quickened it. Yeah. The flesh yeah. profited yeah. nothing. Yeah. To be quickened means to be made better. Immediately. It's finished. Immediately. It's a little more on this uh, <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. It says, um, it says, in inhaling, breathing in. In inhaling, breathing in. And the Lord breathed into Adam the breath of life. Hey, when Ezekiel 37, the Lord breathed and gave us the breath. All right? 
Yep. It yep. says to blow into, to breathe upon, to inspire, to excite. To and that and that's what happened to you, to us. Yeah. We were we were breathed into and it inspired us. Mm -hmm. It incited us. It excited us. You remember that when you first heard this? Yep. You no! You you we what? You trying to tell everybody you know. Yeah. It's the blue you was letter. excited. You didn't give a fuck, man. Check the blue letter. <laughs> you didn't give a fuck. I remember, man. I remember, man. I was, I was, I was, I was, I was, I was uh, face to face with some hardcore blood niggas, man. Which was my cousins. You know what I'm saying? And not a, not a, not not a. Uh, didn't have zero. I had zero fear. You know what I'm saying? Had zero fear. You know, niggas fresh out the pen. <laughs> I didn't give a fuck, bro. But that was the spirit, man. Yeah. So you telling me that nigga came in. I, I said I was happy to be in the living room. That nigga, she could have eat his Taco Bell all head ass. <laughs> that nigga was pacing. That Taco Bell was getting cold. <laughs> spirit of the Lord had his ass convicted. Then he sat down in like a uh, Indian style. Like, nigga still sit like that? You talking about me? <laughs> yeah. I hate it. Oh, sneak tip. <laughs> I feel like socking. I feel like, I'm like, damn, why do you want to fire on Teddy? <laughs> I was wondering like a motherfucker, and I haven't had her. At that time, I didn't hear it. I'm like, what? What? What did he do? You know? It wasn't going to be until a year later when the Heavenly Father had this brother come through. But that was the spirit, man. You know? Hey man, this hey, it don't get no better than this, man. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, give me the book of Samuel when uh, Saul went. He was amongst the prophets. Another spirit came over, and he came. He became another man. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Go ahead. This is First uh, Thessalonians two and thirteen. For this cause also thank we Yahweh by Shimei shy without ceasing, because when you receive the word of the Most High. Which you heard of us, you received it not as the word of men, but as it is in truth, the word of the Most High, which affectionately worketh us to in you that believe. Point blank, period. Right. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it got to be sent from the Most High. You can't make yourself a prophet, man. The Most High has to tap into your mind, man. You can't make yourself of the elect. The most high gotta tap into your mind for you to believe this. Yeah. And then and then uh, uh the uh, the scriptures tell you that in the heavens the Lord uh, ordained you from the heavens. So you were sent down. I take one out. Yeah, let me get a cold. Down. Let me get a cold one too, Bob Kishaw. You were sent down already what? before when you was conceived in your mother's womb, already chosen to be whatever it is you chosen to be. Yep. That's Jeremiah 1 and 5. Those he, those, he, those he knew aforetime, then he predestinated, yeah. as the scripture say. Right. That's why we able to spot the fakes and phonies. Yeah. All right? Uh, yeah, real when you said that, him. I thought about when, it's like it, bro. No, no, I was it. Was I thought it. about when Yahweh Shai said to uh, Sarah, I'll be back, I'll re return in the time, time of life. And, 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 the time of life. Time of life. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, and, and a lot of people they don't they don't understand it because you know, look at us. <laughs> you know what I mean? We look like the average Negro and Latino Native American in America. Just a, a just another we lie minority. Me, but the thing is, the Lord has a glow about us. Yeah. And it's just truth. Wisdom making for man's face to shine. shine. Yep. And it ain't for y'all. The Lord, you know, like man, uh, Jake said, was that an angel behind y'all? Yeah, he was. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It sounded like Dub C and shit. Come on, man. He was like, damn. Yeah. That might have been the same Jake that was on the comment board. Like, hey, is that guy with y'all? Yeah, he probably. Yeah. He said it hit him because it. I like I said when I seen it, I jumped back. Man, I said, what I was, the fuck? Man, when I was that? when I was doing the zooming in and all that, uh -huh. bro, I, I had chills doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And majority of the comments, Jake got the same sentiment. It gave me chills. Yeah. You know? Yeah. He looked powerful. 
Yeah, he looked. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He, look, he look like not from this. He look different. He, he don't look like he from this world, man. Yeah, man. <clears throat> you know what I mean? And he he was all steer shit. Very like he look he we were cause you know we are we silly dub when we talk you know we kind of laughing and shit. I was peeping him as we were laughing. He was still like. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like if you were listening, you would probably smile or something like, nah, his face stayed the same. Nope. His face didn't change. He wasn't playing no fucking games. Hey, that's the, that's like the third time the angel to show this stuff to us. Like yeah. us brothers. Yeah. That's crazy. Not like that though. Yeah, that, that, that was, was that, that right was there, that, that takes the cake. Yeah, that was it right there. Cool little <laughs> Where did you get that from? It looked like a, a, a jacket from Wolverine to wear or some shit. Wait, was you with us in uh, uh, Mitchie's? Uh-uh. No, no, that was just me, you, and your one time. Yeah, that brother ain't experienced that one. You put that, that one, one with the Hennessy that one, was, that one was the strongest one to me. That one was like in your face. Yeah. You know, in your face type of. The guy's bottle with Hennessy. And speaking Hebrew, bro. <laughs> yeah, and speaking Hebrew, bro. <laughs> I, could, I wish I could remember all the details. And it's like the time it. stops. Yeah, time. Bro, nobody in the fucking, um, nobody in the, um, Amitra spot knows tell this it. guy. I, I, I might as well tell it. We was in, me, this brother, Mike Ala, and, and Yuanathan, the brothers in the It was the a day after, after the day of atonement, bro. Yeah. We was chilling in Amitra's. He used to be Amitra's pizza up the street. And uh, we was up in there, you know, having conversation, holy conversation. And, uh, you know, all of a sudden, I, I looked up and I seen this this austere man coming towards the door. I didn't see nothing in his hand or none of that. He, I, actually, he was so austere and like mm -hmm. rugged, I thought he was a, a derelict. Yeah, yeah. I thought he was like a, a derelict. Uh -huh. He came in, when he came in, it was like time stop. No bullshit. Nobody, Nobody flinched to look and the door had a bell on it. The dude didn't come from the back to see, yeah. you know, when you come in the door, he'll come in to see the, uh, yeah. you know, if you, you know, that'll let him know that a customer's there. Yeah. Nobody came up, nothing. The door beat. It was like time stopped. The people that was eating, they didn't turn around. They didn't turn nothing. nothing, bro. Nothing. This dude just come in and he shit. He came in. When he came in, his hand went like this. And when he came up, it was a bottle in his hand. He put it right on the table. Yeah. And he spoke to us in Hebrew. And uh, he said a couple words in English. And uh, he said, uh, he said, uh, the Heavenly Father is proud of y'all. He said, the time is almost up. He said, keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. He's gone. He's gone. But he greeted us in Hebrew. Yeah. He didn't you know even give saying? us a chance to talk He didn't even give us a chance to, to thank him. Yeah. He looked at us and he shook his head like this. And he had a full beard on, on his face, all steer. Yeah. He had a full beard. And when he did like this, it was like a bottle. I was like, I, I think it's, I was thinking to myself, I didn't see him coming with no bottle in his hand. You know what I'm saying? And when he did like this, he just put it on the table. Got that head. And I was, I was like, I was just, we was just stuck, bro. Yeah, we was stuck, bro. And then he, he said what he said. He shook his head, he walked out. It was a see-through window all the way around he was looking at us like this and just walked into the door walked, <laughs> walked past where where it wasn't no more window yeah as soon as he did that we looked he was gone <laughs> that was he was gone hey that's like uh zachariah when, when the angel came to him and it and, and made him to where he couldn't speak till his son was born Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah. yeah. couldn't speak, bro. We didn't talk for five minutes. Yeah, we didn't talk, bro. We didn't, we didn't say one word for five minutes, bro. Yeah, I probably we was probably under whatever other other, other people was under. <laughs> bro, I down there had tears in my eyes. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? And, and cause I knew it was a, it, you felt it. You knew it was an angel. It wasn't nobody could tell us that it wasn't an angel. That's you know right. what I'm saying? Same, same with this one. Can't tell us that wasn't no ink. And no damn derelict is gonna come and give you a, 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 a the a biggest bottle bottle of of uh, of Hennessy, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he a derelict. And Hennessy, and shit, when you, you look, it's, it's made from grapes. It's a wine. Yeah, Hennessy is a wine. It's got the vines on it. It's got the vines on it. You know what I'm saying? With that, it was it was expensive. It, they, it was more expensive back then too. Yeah. So 
man that was heavy that was a heavy night for us man we that was our whole conversation the whole night yeah i got a, i got a pretty matter of fact so. we shared we shared the drink with all brothers because all brothers wanted to cup a, 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 a shot of that <laughs> really thought they was gonna get some spills and power and shit. <laughs> we, we, we saved it until that saturday yeah. uh until that uh no until that that uh that night on uh, saturday and then uh yeah after camp after yeah. camp <laughs> and then you know, all brothers got a whole fucking room and shit. You can't even hear brothers talking and shit. <laughs> I need some. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but we're gonna be able to bring those those times back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When we in the power seat, man. That's right. You yeah. know? Right. <clears throat> Go ahead, I'm one. This is Hebrews 12 and 22. But you are come, but you are come unto Mount Zion. Unto the city of the living power, the heavenly Jerusalem, to an innumerable company of angels, to the general assembly and church of the firstborn, which are written in heaven, and to the power, the judge of all, and to the spirits of just men made perfect, Ooh. and to Yahushai, the mediator of the new covenant, and to the blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things than that of Abel. Mm. Come That's on now. Did. That's what we've come. Come on now. We getting ready to inherit all things, man, like our forefathers been waiting on. Yeah. We that generation. We got wait. Ain't no other generation after this one, man. These, these, these little oh, niggas now ain't nothing bro. coming after them. That's why they call it Gen Z. <clears throat> it's real. It's really Gen 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 Z. Gen through. Yeah, Gen Zesty, man. Gen over. You know what I'm saying? This shit is over, Jim. This shit is it's over. over with. <laughs> Did you finish reading uh, Inspiration? All of it? Uh, no, I got, I got uh, First Sam, if you want to. Yeah, yeah, share. get that too. First Samuel. Yep. yep. Oh, yeah, no more. Yep. This is back in the Inspiration from Adam Online. It says, to blow into, to breathe upon, to inspire, to excite, to inflame. Yep. And that's what happened to, to each and every last one of us when we heard this word. When the inspiration came from on high, oh, yeah. it changed you, man. Yeah. It incited you, excited you, inspired you. It didn't matter what the hell you was doing in life. That got put on the back it burner. Got yeah. It got it thrown got away. Thrown, it was like a, like a flame being lit. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? Yep. And that's, why, and that's why the Lord said in Revelation, the third chapter, uh, uh, lest I come and put out that candle. Woo. You don't never want this candle to be put out, man. Never. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And the, uh, the root word for inspiration is, uh, it says, see spirit. Woo! Yeah. 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 And it's the yeah. spirit that quickened it. Yeah. It's the spirit of man and the inspiration spirit. of spirit. 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 You know? Yeah. We that Samuel. Oh, yeah. And we can end it on this. Uh, <clears throat> it's up 1 Samuel chapter 10, verse 1. It says, Then Samuel took a vial of oil. And poured it upon his head. What's the oil now? Give me the revelation. Give me the scripture. Hurt not the oil nor the wine. So spiritually, we all have oil poured on us, man. When the Lord shot that uh, influence from the heavens down, man. Go ahead. Revelation 6 and 6. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny. And see, thou hurt not the oil in the wine. The oil in the wine represents the, the, this truth, the understanding, the Bible. All right? <clears throat> that's it, right? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Go ahead. It's back in 1 Samuel 10 and 1. It says, Then Samuel took a vial of oil and poured it upon his head and kissed him. And said, Is it not because the Lord have anointed thee to be captain over his inheritance? When thou art departed from me today, then shalt thou find two men by Rachel's sepulchre in the border of Benjamin at Zilza. And they will say unto thee, And that's how you that's how uh men were anointed of the Lord back then. Kings. Who would anoint them? The prophets. All right, the seer. All right. So in essence, the same thing today, but spiritually. 
You were anointed by the prophets, hearing the true understanding from the prophets. All right? And the Lord opening up your mind was the Lord anointing you, man, with that spiritual oil. All right. <clears throat> yep. It says, can't nobody take it from you, man. All right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Go ahead. It says, then shall thou find two men by Rachel's sepulcher in the border of Benjamin by Zilza, and they will say unto thee, the ashes which thou wentest to seek are found. And lo, thy father hath left care of the ashes, and sorrow for you, saying, What shall I do for my son? Then shalt thou go on forward from thence, and thou shalt come to the plain of Tabor, and shall meet, and there shall meet thee three men going up to the heavenly father, to God of Bethel. One carrying three kids. Which the word Bethel is Bayat Allah, which means oh, house of the power. Oh, wait. You said, you said what? Bethel. Bethel, okay. Bayat Allah. All right? Yeah. House of the power, man. Yeah, yeah. We in the house of the power right now. Hell, yeah. 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 Go ahead. And there shall meet thee three men going up to God, going up to God to Bethel. One carrying three kids, and another carrying three loaves of bread, and another carrying a bottle of wine. And they will salute thee, and give thee two loaves of bread, which thou shalt receive of their hands. And after that, thou shalt come to the hill of the heavenly father, where is a garrison of the Philistines. And it shall come to pass, when thou art come up thither to the city, that thou shalt meet a company of prophets, coming down from the high place tree, in a timbrel, in a pipe, in a harp for them, and they shall all, and they shall prophesy. Uh huh. And the spirit of the Lord will come upon thee. The spirit the, of the Lord will come upon thee. <clears throat> Go ahead. And the spirit of the Lord shall come upon thee, and thou shalt prophesy with them, and shall be turned into <clears throat> another man. Point blank. Period. Woo. And that's exactly what the inspiration of the right, Lord did man. to every last one of us, as well as all you out there that truly believe. You were changed and turned into another man once the spirit of the Lord hits you, man. Yeah. Okay? That's it, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna jump down real quick. Okay. Jump it down to verse yeah, um you born again. Yep. That's what he said. Should I go in down to the into my uh uh mother's womb and be born again? Oh yeah, Nicodemus. You know? Yep, yep. It says verse verse um eleven, jump it down to verse eleven. It says, and it came to pass when all that knew him before saw that, behold, he prophesied among the prophets. Then the people said one to another, what is this that has come on to the son of Kis? It saw also among the prophets. And one of, the, one of them in the same place answered and said, but who is their, but who is their father? Therefore it became a proverb. It saw among the prophets. That's it right there. That's it, man. So, hey, with that, man, Lord will, you know, this was an edifying camp <clears throat> through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. We're going to give all praise to our power. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the hopeful elect scattered throughout the four winds of the earth. Shalom. Shalom, Akim. You got it, Akim.